Alrighty. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Podcast number three. <laughs> you guys excited? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm the judgmental critter. And let's introduce everyone. Let's start with you this time. Hi, I'm Twin Zinc. I'm the one that sounds like Judgmental Critter, but we're different. We are. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Allison. Are you? Hi. Alrighty. I'm excited because this is going to be Ruby concept and artwork and like character design podcast. This is so exciting. You texted us. Um, and you were like, do you want to do a design podcast? And I was like, yes! Yes! <laughs> so much! Like, oh, you don't need to ask. Like, I had a thought, like, at work. And then, like, I was like, we should do a podcast. And I was like, yes! <laughs> we should! <laughs> so, we've all studied art. Yes. To different degrees. So we have somewhat clout about knowing what we're talking about, but we're also still idiots on the internet. So don't get too mad. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> if the you thing. Disagree. That's the thing about character design. Um, we're able to approach it using technical like terminology and an understanding of the technical elements, like color theory, composition, that kind of stuff. However, everything's still subjective. That's the fun part about art. You can like something that's objectively bad, and you can dislike something that's objectively good. So, yeah. It, if, just because I hate Blake's current outfit doesn't mean <laughs> you're not allowed to like it, because it's still subjective, and that's the fun part. I'm also hopeful that we might be able to cover a wide spectrum of thoughts and opinions on this topic, yeah. because we all have vastly differing um, opinions on... Uh, character design. Yes. yes. So I think that this should be very fun and interesting. I'm so excited. I don't know where to start. I thought of writing down like bullet points. For oh, you, don't, you don't have like a little... Usually you were like, you've got yeah. like a whole notebook. But and... I, I did, there, there's everything. And I, I didn't feel like writing down a million different things like, what is your favorite Ruby outfit? <laughs> what is your favorite bicep? And I'm like, because I feel like we'll just kind of naturally talk about this because yeah. we've done this before <laughs> yeah. i was wondering about what format you were gonna do for this so let's just figure it out there is one specific point i want to touch on okay but we'll get to that later we don't need to start with it so let's actually let's start with ruby herself because i guess out of anywhere in ruby ruby's a good place to start all right best outfit worst outfit um, do we want to, do we want to go and order person by person? Yeah, let's round table this. Okay, who would like to go first? Um, this uh, was hard. Do you have, like, a, a solid opinion on this? I do. Okay, go ahead. I like her current outfit, her volume 7 outfit, the best. Okay. Wow, interesting. Yeah. I like her with the, like, skirt thing, rather than a skirt. Because mm -hmm. I feel, I feel like it shows that she's growing. She's not a dumb little kid wearing a big dumb skirt. She's growing, and it makes sense because she does so much flippy doos that, like, maybe you stop doing that with a skirt on. Really. <laughs> Fascinating. I also like the gray of her sleeves, and wow, yeah, <laughs> wow, <laughs> I'm blown away. But more, her, I like the, I like, I like the front thing, her corset, because the way it's cut, it's like it doesn't cross in front of her. There's a spot in the middle that's still open that has gray. So even though her cape is always behind her, so we know which direction she's facing cape-wise. Now we can tell which direction her body is facing because of this like angular nature and it for the first time she doesn't have a bunch of shit up, <laughs> up on her like collar because usually she has like her her hood and then like her belts and shit and then like all these other things and now it's just, it's just like she has her hood wrapped around her shoulders and then it's empty until it reaches about her her boobs. And I like it because it's streamlined, and I like her haircut. <laughs> Wild. So, that's my favorite Ruby outfit. What's your least favorite? It's her volume one outfit. Really? <laughs> I know. Okay. Controversial opinions Ooh. out of the gate. <laughs> All right, interesting. Why, why, why? Because, okay, the artwork looks good for it. Mm -hmm. But in Engine, it doesn't... It's not. <laughs> why? Okay. The, the black on black... It's it, The red on her, like, sleeves help make me see where her hands are, mm -hmm. especially when she's holding Crescent Rose, but it's just black over black for most of it, and her entire look is black and red, okay. is the entirety of it, and if there was, like, depth and shading and highlights, it'd probably be better, 
But as it is... Yeah, did you like it more when it was in Yang's character short? I think I did. I don't remember it very well in Yang's character short. <laughs> okay. I remember Yang in Yang's character short. <laughs> but, yeah. It's just too... It's too one-note, in my opinion. That's wild. That's so super I'm interesting. Very different. <laughs> I'm going next. Okay. I, I have to. Because my favorite's the first volume mm. outfit. Because it's... War. Civil War. The Civil War. <laughs> because it's so perfectly stylized. I'm also a big fan of, like, monochrome and one color. So, like, everything's black and white, and then there's one pop of color. Mm. And Ruby is that. Like, I feel like it's clear, like, you're right where her arms can kind of get lost in her torso sometimes. Um, but I feel like because her hands are so bright and that there's, she's got her corset um, with the red strings on it, that you never lose Ruby. The problem is that it's impossible to tell what's going on with her boobs <laughs> because <laughs> because of i think the engine it's like so does she just have really large tits or is this a saggy top what's yeah. going on it's, yeah <laughs> uh, but it's just really classy and i like the the lack like it's not too much uh me my my least favorite is volume four through six yeah it's, it's i hate the giant boob window it looks dumb um it's got like, literally 14 belts on it. She's got four on each arm, doing yeah. nothing. She's got seven on one boot, and then two on another. Why are they uneven? Why so it's, many belts? <laughs> why so many belts? Why so little red? Why are the socks this, like, maroon? Why do they, do, why do they have a pattern on them? It just feels really unnecessarily busy. And it's like... Calm down. We don't need a pattern on everything. The puffy <laughs> sleeves also, I feel like, would work if it was, like, actual fabric. But because they can't do actual fabric texture, mm -hmm. it just looks like a bulge of sleeve. Yeah. They, they, they would get in the way? I don't know. I just really don't like that outfit. Worst outfit. <laughs> Allison? <laughs> um, so, I would say, for me, my favorite, it's a very close tie between um, her newest outfit and her original outfit. But I'm, I, I'm going to say, at this point, um, I think the newest one pulls ahead by just a little bit. Um, I really, really like how sporty she looks. I think she still looks extremely cute, um, but she looks... She... Her volume one outfit, and, and this doesn't really matter, but it didn't look like something a speed type character would wear. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, I feel like her new look with the windswept hair and, and, and she just looks more capable. I feel um, and while not being over designed. And I think that's a key point to it. Cause I think that's what they were going for with the, um, volume four era outfit. Um, with the, like, I'm mature now, don't you see? <laughs> I have I, more on me, that means I'm more mature looking. That's how it works. <laughs> um, but, but it was so much. And I feel like the newest one is the perfect, like, actual evolution of the character, where she still has the same elements as her original incarnation, but there's just enough new detail and practical elements added on that she looks more capable Fascinating. What's your least favorite? Um, my, my least favorite is the, the Volume 4 era outfit. Um, I, I don't blame you. <laughs> uh, I hate to repeat the same talking point over and over again, but the belts are very frustrating to me visually. I've never been a fan of, like, this idea of I don't know what to add on to this character to make them visually interesting. Let's put belts or zippers or, or uh, like... A simple design is not a bad design. Um, yeah, it it is okay to have <laughs> to have a character who doesn't have fourteen things strapped to them. Yeah. Um. And so yeah, not to harp on that point, but it is just very visually busy and like that tears in her outfit and stuff, yeah. like in her in her leggings. Yeah. And it we... makes it look very like. Not like <laughs> put together. It, it, it makes her if her outfit looks very effortful in a time where it doesn't make sense for a character to have put together a very thorough like outfit. It looks like yeah. Ruby is going like like clubbing and like and <laughs> like, like it's like a punk theme. Like she <laughs> was like she tore 
her stockings yes. so it looked fashionable. Yes. That's what it looks like. Yeah. I'm, yeah. <laughs> it's fine if a character is wearing a somewhat impractical outfit, in my opinion, in an anime. It's an anime. Um, I am not bothered. <laughs> I am not bothered by, like... The technical, like... Yes. Like, that doesn't make sense. It's she why? doesn't even have a pocket there. Why I, doesn't <laughs> Sailor Moon have armor? <laughs> like, like that's, that doesn't bother me personally. Um, but but when it's like, we are on a journey. We are on a Lord of the Rings-esque. We are walking across continents. And here we go with our map in our backpacks. Here's and she looks my like... Belts. Yeah, <laughs> and she looks like she rolled out of a mall. <laughs> it's, it's just a little bit jarring. And let's... Because that was something... When I texted you, let's do this podcast, I also texted something because I was thinking about it. I'm Lee, the person who's currently designing... Ruby, at least Team Ruby's outfits. Mm-hmm. I know they have two other character designers. Yeah. But I don't know which ones they've designed. Ayn Lee seems to have an idea. She seems to struggle with filling a void, like, on a design. And her answer seems to always be, add an accessory. Like, it, it was... Alright, Blake has, like, belts wrapped around her ankle, her wrists now. Yeah. Like, she has an unzipped... <laughs> fucking sleeve. Yes. Uh-huh. And then is closed back with purple belt on her wrists. Yeah. And that's stupid looking. Because that makes no sense. I had a realization <laughs> the other day that Ein Lee and really everyone designing the characters in Ruby have to, or perhaps could do well in learning that it's all right to have an uninterrupted limb. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need... A skirt with shorts and then thigh highs and then something hanging off your belt to dangle over your right knee and then knee-high boots with zippers and then belts wrapped around the ankle. (laughs) You can just wear pants. (laughs) You you don't don't need a poofy sleeve with elbow-high gloves with jewels on the elbows and fucking fingerless gloves gloves that fold over. You could just wear a shirt. Like, that's... And, and I think that... I think the accessories are over-accessorized. Yeah, if like, you... Like there should be a location of detail. Like, have normal... Just, you know what? Have a tank top on. And maybe gloves. That's all right, you know? And they can be Neon's uneven. original outfit. And they can be uneven in something. And then, like, just normal pants or shorts. And you know, and then have all that detail in the torso. Or have have just wear a tube top, but the character's got, like, crazy boots going on. Mm-hmm. There should be a location of the central detail. And when it's all of the limbs have extra stuff going on. And then also a corset with a belt and straps and a hood. And like a pin and that, a badge and everything. That's, <laughs> that's when it becomes too much. Mm. Like this, I, 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 yeah. It's like unzipped sleeve belt situation. Could have yeah. just been like you want something happening. Just have like a stripe of black down her sleeve. And then like a stripe of purple around the wrist. It, doesn't, <laughs> it could be a pattern. It doesn't need to be an accessory. She could j- just have a sleeve. <laughs> Is, isn't it supposed to be cold here? Why are her sleeves... Why are her forearm sleeves unzipped? <laughs> like, I'm just, I only even watch the show, because sometimes I'm like, why is Blake wearing a giant boots and a coat on an island? <laughs> By the way, about her cat suit, real quick, uh, people seem really confused about the zippers, and I understand, because they don't really make sense. It should be one zipper down the middle, so then she can get out of it, as opposed to zippers up her thighs. I don't get the point of that. She's got knee pads on. It's not a zipper from ankle to knee, and then from, like, above the knee to the top of the thigh. There's knee pads there, guys. I'm I'm helping people see what's happening with Blake. It's just one long zipper all the way up the leg. It still doesn't make sense. But there are knee pads. (laughs) See, you're explaining it. And we don't have visuals right now. Like, we're not pulling these images up on, like, a phone or something while we're we're talking about these characters. Yeah. Um, I can't picture it in my head. I'm imagining Blake 
And I imagine her head and her and her limp hair. <laughs> and, so bad. And, and, and in my head, I'm like scrolling down, and I'm like, and then eh. she does have. I do actually. I like. Okay, I like the zippers on her legs, but if, if, if they didn't need to be zippers, <laughs> it could have just been a stripe up her leg. I like them there because it points me in the direction. It helps me see her legs better, especially when she's like moving. So then it's not because the the problem with her old outfit was her legs are all one color. So then when they're over top each other, I can't see what she's doing. You know what would help if she wasn't wearing a giant coat? Yeah. That, would, that would help. I don't know why <laughs> they, why do they stuck keep her doing in a that? giant stupid coat. I just... I really wish she <laughs> had more yellow in her outfit. I agree. Now. Why is this so hard? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, I just noticed some... And this isn't like, oh, this is why this design is bad. It's just funny. Um, I noticed that her coat like zips and it can zip all the way down yes and i'm just picturing it zipper. like it's zipped up like just Can coming do. to a point where like she can't like she has to <laughs> shuffle forward it's like that tube cat i lee i lee mentioned on deviantart where she she uploaded team ruby's designs mm-hmm. she mentioned that she was like why did I do the zipper that way? I've never, I never intended for it to ever get zipped all the way down. Why did I put the zipper all the way like that? <laughs> so, yeah. you know, it's, she's not unaware. Right, right. And by the way, this is a million percent not shitting on her as a designer no, or absolutely. as like an she, artist. She's yeah. like, amazing. Like her art is beautiful. <laughs> to be totally clear. I just okay. I'm gonna throw this out here. This mm-hmm. might be a controversial idea. I'm tired of Yang having her stupid purple handkerchief on her all the time. I agree. It's so, so dumb. <laughs> it, I felt like it worked in her first outfit when the point was in, to imply asymmetry anyway, with her, like, skirt thing on her belt and, and whatever. one sock is rolled up. And yeah. Isn't. But now it just feels like Yang has to have a bandana tied around her leg. Why? Uh, Why? She's got a scarf. Like, she's got a bandana around her neck. Why not make that the purple bandana? Yeah. Why not, like, I, I, I don't know. It just, yeah, it looks boring There's and uninspired. There's ways of incorporating purple into her outfit without just, and a bandana on her knee. <laughs> I have no strong thoughts on the bandana specifically, um, but I've never been a big fan of Yang's designs in any of her incarnations. Um, I, like mildly prefer some of them over the others. Let's jump to Yang um, then. What's your favorite Yang design? <laughs> um, uh, s- volume, like, season one, uh, Yang is my preferred Yang, um, but I just, none of them are, are really... <laughs> Do you have a least favorite? I guess, I guess the volume four era, but it's not a strong opinion. Um, I just... She's so asymmetrical, and I do understand that it's a theme. She lost her arm. She's off balance. I get it. Um, (laughs) But, like, it it bothers me. It looks bad. She always has, like, a fucking leg thing down or, like, one sock rolled up and the other sock rolled down. One glove's higher than the other, I think, in, in, in... Oh, in in the volume one outfit, doesn't she have like one glove higher? I think so. Or like a sleeve is different. I don't know. It just drives me crazy. Um, she doesn't look awful. Like she's not like my least favorite. It's just Yang has never been my favorite design wise in any of her incarnations. I do think they've struggled with Yang more than any of the other main characters. I agree. I think there's also I I I honestly hope I don't expect it to happen soon, but I'm gonna hope that I hope. I hope something happens with her hair. <laughs> it's so boring. What it's, are you hoping, like, for? Anything uh, specific? It, like, it, it change your style. Because it's having it be the same as it was back in Volume 1, it feels like Yang isn't trying to move forward. She's not growing. It's like, she oh, likes her hair. I like my hair exactly like this. Or you could change your bangs or something. It's specifically, like, the things that wrap around her head, which in, like, artwork, it looks fine. But in the model, it just looks like these weird... St- strands of spaghetti. I don't think a character <laughs> has to change their hair as they, as they, I mean, I've had the same hair since I was in, like, the fifth grade, you <laughs> know? <a> person. <laughs> well, yeah, and, and, and so how does, how does, how did Weiss change to suddenly shift how her bangs are, you know? Like, it doesn't d- d- denote anything just to have your character 
change for the sake of change. I would want her to change her hair for a reason, if especially because she's Goldilocks, and that's like her deal is my hair. Junior tore my hair, and I got I got really upset about it. You mm-hmm. know, so if she's gonna change, I would want there to be like a real reason for it, as opposed to just her bangs should look different because everyone else's looks different now. Eh. Maybe just maybe I'm just tired of just seeing tired her. Of the same thing. She's, she's very stagnant. I think it would help if it was bigger, (laughs) if her hair was more impactful. Like, if they can have a lot of nice volume and length with Neo's hair, you know? Mm. Why can't they do that with Yang, you know? (laughs) I also hate Neo's new hair. Really? Yeah. I thought it looked very cute. It looks cute, but I hate it on Neo. Because it covers up so much of her. Like, when she's doing flips and shit... Like, it's just all this- I, like, I can't see what she's doing, I just see this mass of hair. It is really chunky. Uh, mm. It doesn't move with her very well. I agree. I think, like, maybe a thin ponytail, mm-hmm. something that could flow really good, would've- would've worked better, I think. But also, I've mentioned before that it looks like they just went, have her look sexier. Have her be yeah. good fan service. Yeah. So, I think- <laughs> That's what everyone wants. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think her coat's also dumb, cause like- it doesn't have, like, real sleeves or something. She never wears it right. It looks it, like she's always conveniently having it over her sho- off her shoulder. She's, I don't like, know. really <laughs> busy head-wise. Like, she has the off her shoulder, and then she has, like, the scarf also, and then her hair is up here. She does have a lot going on. And she doesn't have a lot of pink in the outfit. It's all, like, in her head, which was already busy. <laughs> mm. What's your favorite Yang design? Oh, uh, it's the current one. <laughs> I like the bomber jacket, and I like it. I like her romper thing. Everyone else made fun of it. I like it. I even like the color they put her in. I actually don't really? think oh. I don't think Yang would look good in yellow, because her hair is so much, and that's already yellow. Mm. Like I saw this fan art, and it was really good. And it was it was similar to what she is now, but like the bomber jacket was yellow, er, I think. <laughs> and I'm just like, it's just too much yellow, especially right here next to her head. Yellow works as a good accent, and then the oranges and browns are nice with that accent. Mm-hmm. I have a counter-argument. Yes. <laughs> My favorite Yang design is her volume 2 outfit. That one is very good. And that's yellow. It is yellow. <laughs> it's very pale yellow. But yeah. yes, I feel like it would, I, I don't think yellow is necessary. For Yang. No, she's just the yellow color. She's just the yellow one. Just like how bl- black apparently isn't necessary for Blake, according to Team Ruby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to further stoke this flame, um, I actually think that Yang would look very nice in black. Um, she would. I think she'd look real hot. I in like agree. A, a, in like a black bomber jacket. Um uh, yeah, that's, that's just. I think she would look really great. She's like got that. she's got a lot of blacks in her volume two outfit, and so yeah, I agree that I'm gonna look it up. Because <laughs> if you were to so okay, so Yang, if you were to put her in a black bomber jacket and keep like her top half relatively simple and clean with just that bomber jacket, mm-hmm. then for her legs, you could put her in potentially some kind of like. Um, like garish, like yellow, le- yellow patterned leggings yeah, or something. Like something. Um, something very like poppy looking. I, and that way you can incorporate yellow in her design without it being horribly clashing with like, yes. that is too much fucking yellow. It's like you can't it's put like, the same shade of red on yeah. Ruby's torso yeah. because yeah. her cape. Yeah, yeah. I think break the same. it up with a line of black, basically. You have to do and then she'd be bumblebee colored, guys. <laughs> I'm a genius. I, I wish Ying had more red in her outfits, because it would match Ruby. And also, when she does the Super Saiyan, her eyes go red. Her so. jacket is kind of like a maroon. It's the most close to red she's ever had. This is really cute. I, I know, know, right? Yeah, it is really, really cute. Actually, it's, it's the best one. We're looking at the um, Volume Two outfit, by the way. Yeah. Uh, my least favorite is her volume four, uh, or volume five, technically, it's... where it's really patchworky and her legs are boring, but her torso's got too much and she looks like they didn't know what to do with her. Mm. Why does she have like a collar thing going on? Like she's got like, a choke, <laughs> she's got a choker <laughs> and, but then her coat is like unzipped part way to give her a boob window. And I'm like, why does she even have the choker? I don't know. <laughs> It's bad. I feel like they should really, like, jazz up Yang's legs more. Because she's- so much is happening with her arms. 
And then she's got the big boobs, and then her hair is a lot. So it's a Top lot heavy. already with her. Like, give her some, like, crazy pants and boots or something. Yeah, guys. like, some, like, really <laughs> chunky boots. Um... Yeah, something. <laughs> well, I do think, in that regard, I think the first volume did that the best by giving her her, like, belt skirty do situation. It was still pretty top heavy. It but was, yeah. but it, it at least it tried to incorporate her legs a little bit more. Oh, that is kind of funny though, because isn't that what um what neon? Uh... Yeah, but that was pretty <laughs> pretty much just her boobs too. So I, I know, I know. I just that's a cute connection. It is. Very uh-huh. bottom heavy too. <laughs> uh, let's. I guess let's just roll into Weiss. Sure. We, we're bouncing around. Sure. Uh, my least favorite Weiss is her current one. Volume 7. Mm. It's... I'm fine with her hair, actually. The braid, it looks bad, but I get it. They're trying to get it out of her way. And I like her actually doing her hair different, because now she's, like, showing off her scar, mm-hmm. and we can actually see it. Also, it's just like, you know, I'm tired of my bangs being yeah. messy in front of me. Let's do something with it. I'm not trying to, like, interrupt. <laughs> I just want to, like, while you're still on the topic of, like, her hair specifically. Yeah. Because this kind of also connects to, um, when you guys were talking about Neo, I didn't get a chance to chime in. <laughs> um, <Sorry>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> would you say that there are design elements that would look good if perhaps that they can improve, like, the engine on them? Like, like the way it's animated? Like, like... Weiss's really thick braid, how it's, like, really, like, undetailed at the top. Yeah. And so yeah. it's just kind of, like, formless. Or, like, Neo's hair, like, how, how you were saying, like, it doesn't move really well with her. Yeah, because yeah. it's a, um, a solid lump. Would yeah. you say that if they could improve, like, the technology, you would like it more? Or, yes. or, or your, would your opinions remain the same? It's the design element that you don't like. With Neo, my opinion would stay the same. Because even with, like, real hair physics, mm-hmm. it would still be in her way a lot as she's flipping around. Maybe even more so. With every other character, I probably, I think it would be an improvement. Okay. Because... I just because it looks nice looking. I mean, I don't I don't like the braid even in Einley's artwork for Weiss at least. But mm-hmm. for all these other elements that we're talking about, it looks uh, Weiss is actually a good example because her dress in Einley's artwork is flowing around behind yes. her yeah. like real fabric would. But because their engine can't do that, it's just this stiff like triangle around her model, yeah. and it ruins the way she moves because she's always been very ballerina y. But mm-hmm. now her legs can't do anything because her stupid dress is in the way. Yeah, it so is weird. She's gonna that... stretch the model, or she's gonna cut right through it. <laughs> it. It is weird that they like starting with like volume five ish. They don't seem to care about considering what they can animate. <laughs> kind of like how they had to get rid of Yang's um, coattails. Uh, right. for volume five, because mm-hmm. clearly they were in the way. And and now they've put, yeah, Weiss in this big triangle dress. And I like the long bell shape mm-hmm. on her, but yeah, they can't animate it, so why would they give her that, you know? Yeah, so it's, it's like with Neo's hair, like, they already knew they had problems with, like, long hair in the right. past. Why did they give her all this hair? <laughs> But yeah, sorry for uh, derailing you, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to, while we were talking about the chunky hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't really, I, do, I don't really have, like, a favorite. I do, it's Snow Pete. Weiss, my favorite Weiss outfit is the one she had for Volume 2. Cause it was, that was, like, the white, like, coat. Right? Yeah. With the black, like, mm-hmm. outfit. The black looked really, really nice with it. Yeah. Because her, her original one, the blue to the white was really similar in color. Like... It did I, look like she was wearing pretty much all white. Yes, especially yeah. in volume one, where mm-hmm. her skin was also, like, pure white and yes. her hair is pure white. <laughs> uh, the pop of red on her collar was nice, but I think the black looks even better. Mm. So, Snow Pea. That's the only one that I remember. She's they all also, have, like, names. Um, it's, like, like there's <laughs> Intruder. Hunter. Is Ravager. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about Destroyer. anymore. The, they, their volume two outfits had names. Okay. Weiss's was Snow Pea. Gotcha. <laughs> um, boy, I sure was gonna say something. Favorite. It was wholeheartedly agree for the most part. Um, I I've seen people complain about Weiss's current royal blue color and complaining that it should be an icier blue. Personally, I don't mind the royal blue because yeah. it's like she's melting her. Her frozen she's demeanor is up. is warming up. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a warm shade of blue now because she's friends mm-hmm. with her friends. 
So I dig it. I do still think it's too much royal blue. <laughs> or <laughs> rather misplaced royal blue. The fact that it's like the primary color on her. Yeah. As opposed to, you know, white. <laughs> um, I agree that Snow Pea is my favorite. I think my least favorite design is still volume four. Um, partially because in literally all lighting, it's gray. Yeah. It's this mm-hmm. ugly gray and it's like, ew, why didn't you change her color when she like, when you realized, oh golly, if she's anywhere other than at the Schnee Manor, her outfit's gray and ugly. <laughs> Gross water. Uh, light. I don't like her like choker it looks like she's choking but then why does she still have a titty window and her tight sleeves i i just don't like it it just doesn't jive i was thinking i think it would have been cool if after she got back from being kidnapped by the bandits Mm -hmm. and like her and yang make it back to yeah to ruby if she like abandoned the choker thing yeah she so then her like collar opened up and then she could get a different jacket so it's still the same ugly gray dress but then like Oh, white coat. Or something. Or, yeah, that'd have been nifty. <laughs> oh, something about her current outfit that I really hate is her tiara. What about it? What? I don't... Why is she still wearing a tiara? It just feels a little silly to me. I couldn't even see that she was wearing one. It <laughs> hides in her giant it's, bulbous I, hair. I, her, <laughs> really, you, like, you were like, her tiara, and I'm like, she still has that? It's just, <laughs> it seems so silly. Like, you know, you've been impaled, Weiss. Why are you wearing a silly little princess Gee, tiara? Ruby, <laughs> you've watched people die. Why are you still wearing that dumb hood? It's just, I don't know, it's just like, I'm okay with them having a... Um, Constant accessories. I do think that they they are incorporating it. it let's use my words. <laughs> I do think they're incorporating it poorly because her hair is really big. So yeah, the fact that it's easy to miss the yeah. tiara. <laughs> I, I think in a in an intricate hair accessory would work just as well and feel more mature than just a tiara. But that's just Oh, me. I wish, like, her mom had, like, a, a tiara kind of deal going on. That would have been nifty. I was disappointed with with uh, Mama Schnee. Willow. Willow. Yeah. I was disappointed with She Willow. was just I'm very unimpressive. I'm surprised you were disappointed with her, considering you were okay with, um, Summer. Yeah. Uh, because, because <laughs> it's the same thing. Because I, w- I had no expectations for Summer or Willow. I was like, they're not going to be characters. I don't care what their designs are. <laughs> That's fair. Um, and so I'm surprised that <laughs> that you had more of an interest in drunk wino mom <laughs> than, <laughs> than, like, legendary, like, potentially the the reason why Ruby is inv- invested in the plot, Mom. Let's roll into that. That was, <laughs> this was the one well, point. I didn't get to talk about what, but fine. <laughs> this was the one point that I brought up that I wanted to make sure we touch on. Let's talk about Summer's design. Okay. <laughs> okay, because that brought some ire out of us in a previous podcast. <laughs> I have, I liked, Okay. <laughs> In the volume six finale, when we see her, yes, I feel like it worked there because she's on screen so briefly, and the emphasis isn't what she's wearing, and her cape is kind of in the way anyway, at least for a good chunk of that shot. It's her, it's her eyes that we're supposed to be focusing on. It, it worked in that moment, but I do wish with their like official artwork thing, they would have gone into more effort and to actually give her a design okay. other than just what Ruby was wearing. You just wanted to black. clarify, but <laughs> let me yeah, <laughs> yeah, I get you. I, it, like if you're gonna have the effort of having the official artwork, go into the effort of actually doing something. Kind of like <laughs> how they they made Raven not just recolored Yang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really really hopeful that if Summer does show up, that they at least like spice up her design a little bit if she never shows up again i won't care personally (laughs) i'm not here for summer (laughs) (laughs) also ruby ruby just changed her cape yeah like yeah she had her torn up one now that she got her new outfit and you see her looking at a new cape like yay a new cape did oh. that old cape not have important significance to her? I okay, so I feel like I missed a lot in, in this latest <laughs> volume because I didn't notice the like gold thing on Blake's sword really until cute. I saw a comment that confused me. About it. <laughs> um, I was like, what does that mean? What are you um, uh, but uh, um, I didn't notice that Ruby had 
like, changed her coat. I think I saw that it wasn't frayed at the bottom anymore. Um, it's not frayed at the bottom anymore, Correct. Right? Correct, okay. yeah. Um, I, I had, I had assumed that she had just gotten it, like, <laughs> this is gonna sound really dumb, but you know, like, in, in, like, in Dragon Ball, <laughs> how, how Goku, <laughs> his, his clothes get, like, fucking torn up all the time, and then, like, next scene, it's, like, better again, yeah. and it's, like, you just kind of assume, like, eh, they repaired it off screen, whatever. <laughs> I literally had thought that they had just repaired Ruby's cape off, off screen. <laughs> I didn't think that she got a full new coat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see what the deal is. I guess a lot of people thought that was, like, Summer's Yeah, cape. like a gift. Like, stained red by the blood of your mother. Oh, wow. Because hers was white. Cool headcanon. Oh, I, didn't, I saw that somewhere. I didn't think that it was, like, literally, like, her old woman that, stained yeah. red. I thought it was, like, like my mom. And then she just always had that had that one. I, I, what's, what's your favorite Weiss outfit? Oh, shit. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah, um, Weiss. Uh, so, I think... <coughs> I think most of Weiss's outfits have been pretty solid. This most recent one has been, um, sorry to like start reverse um, from what you said, I'm going to start with least favorite. Yeah, right. um, uh, the most recent outfit for her is my least favorite, um, if only for the fact that I looked at it and I was like, oh, very different aesthetic, but that's pretty nice, but it was like, uh, uh. A shoulders shot and then I saw like the full design for it and I was like I can't believe that you didn't put any of that that royal blue lower yeah um personally I'm a very big fan of like color balancing so what I really love in a design is when a character will have I, I like limited color palettes so like a character having maybe three or four colors on the max um, and then I like those colors nice and evenly distributed because I personally find that if you have a character and she's wearing primarily white <laughs> and then you put this dark blue in only one spot on her, suddenly that is where your eyes go and that is the only spot where your eyes go because we really don't see that red accent um, in the show. Yeah. You, I didn't even know it was there. Like, you can't see it in action. No. Um, and so you're just looking at that blue and so it just makes her design look almost unfinished and it's just distracting. Um, yeah. So I really wish that... I, I think that... Um, that twins is recolor of of Weiss with uh, the blue as an accent and the white as the primary. So it's good. the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So good. Um, <laughs> you can find it on Twitter. Uh, just look up Twins Inc. on Twitter. You'll find it. It's, Wink plug. <laughs> it's great. It looks fantastic. But if they didn't do something like that, I would at least appreciate it if they would like put something on her boots. Like a blue accent or just color the blutes blue. The blutes the blue. The blutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I don't dislike the gray one, um, the volume four outfit uh, that much because I feel like it fits its symbolism extremely well. Mm. Um, yeah. And it's not a bad design. Like, like I can understand the critiques with it, but I feel like just looking at the design, I feel like it does exactly what what they wanted it to do. Um, but volume one is my personal favorite. Um, I don't blame you. <laughs> it's, I volume just, one was good. It's yeah. just really iconic. Um, my personal favorite incarnation of it is, is the concept art for it where it's gorgeous and lacy and beautiful. <laughs> but even when it doesn't get the luxury of having that much detail, it's just such a pretty outfit. I just like, I know that it's a lot of white, and I can understand someone not liking it because of that, because Weiss is very pale, and she has her white hair, and then she's wearing this white dress, and you can barely see the blue on it. Yeah. So I can understand if someone might disagree on that point, but I just think it's super pretty. I've pulled up, uh, real quick, Weiss's current outfit, because yes. I had the thought, because she's got a lot of layers here, mm -hmm. and I think of just getting rid of this blue-gray layer, um, this, like, overskirt thing and then you know maybe changing up the colors in her shoe a little bit i think that could really help the design personally. and i could see that i enjoyed the layery look for um for atlas if only for the fact that i lamented 
that most of the characters do not look particularly warm. She still looks really cold. Yeah, it's I gotta say. Yeah. Yeah. I thought she looked like really like like bundled with I don't like, know. this multiple layers of fabric, but that's just me. Um, I don't think it would look bad with what you're recommending. I wish they had tights too. Tights, tights, tights are, always look cute. Tights is opinion. a good way to feign <laughs> warmth for a dress. Yes. <laughs> What's it? I wish because I don't remember, but I don't think Einley had a thing because she had a thing where like, what does Blake's outfit look like without her jacket, and also like, what is Yang's romper top without mm-hmm. that jacket? I wish there was one for Weiss. Without, without the, the top. yeah, she's got all the elements of Weiss's but like what outfit like on her. Yeah, that's I, what I, I want. I, I hear you, man. <laughs> she's yeah, she's got all the elements that come together to make the outfit, mm. um, which is nice. Uh, but uh, this is pretty. It, it is. I'm, I'm pointing to like the white part, basically. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the simple white dress <laughs> yes. underneath everything. I also don't like the fact that her gloves are black. Because they're not. They're dark blue. Because it's so close to the royal blue on her shoulders. Like, if she overlaps, sometimes I lose her arms. And also, it doesn't direct me to Martin Aster. I've never had that problem I, I didn't have that problem either. Um, when you say you lost her arms, do you mean specifically when she had her arm at, like, a fully bent position? She doesn't have it happen often, but yeah, there are times where I'm like, I can't tell. It was like, what, what's your hand doing? Okay. Like, if it's over her shoulders or something. Okay. And I, was, I just couldn't, I never felt like I was looking at her rapier. I always felt like, like you're saying, the royal blue draws my eyes. I'm yes. looking at her tits, not her weapon. Okay. And I think if her, the tips of, if like her gloves were like a different color and then like the, like the finger part, like half of, or at least the hand part of her gloves <laughs> were royal blue also, mm-hmm. it would help bring my eye closer to what she's doing weapon wise. Okay. Or yeah. she could just not have the gloves. I'm not, <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not feeling this one particularly hard, but I do get what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. That's something, that's something I don't like about Ruby's volume four outfit, is her... When she's holding Crescent Rose, whether it's like a, a gun or a scythe, her arms need to be over her torso usually. Yeah. And it doesn't, it's like really busy because of how poofy they are. Right. Versus the already busy designs and accents and accessories on her torso. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So think about the weapon they're using when you're designing a character. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Clearly they can't do that because they gave Yang long sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> Who have we not talked about? Blake. Blake. <laughs> Everyone's favorite. <laughs> uh, um, someone else go. <laughs> Twins? What's her <laughs> volume two outfit Does she, Doesn't she not get one? She, she does. It's, oh, it's just a white shirt and it black looks pants. Like, it looks like a, like a typical, like, I need a job interview outfit. Yeah, it looks <laughs> vague and nice. It's really boring. Okay. Um, I don't remember this one at all. That's fine. It's not worth remembering. I'm, so my least favorite is the current outfit. Um... Because it's everything that was bad about the first one. Like, her volume four outfit. But even worse, I don't like the long white coat. I don't like her dumb, unzipped but clamped sleeves. I don't like how much is happening on her torso. There's a lot of patterning going on. She's a pain in the ass to draw every time. (laughs) I hate doing the thumbnails for now when I talk about volume seven because their outfits are so complicated. Her zippers are nonsensical. There's a, a, there are, why, does she have why is the cat suit also the shoes? <laughs> it's like a, a fucking Timmy Turner from the first Yes. If, your pants if you're are worried just your shoes. that oh golly, there's not a an accessory or a detail disrupting her legs, I have to add something. Instead of adding zippers on her thighs, which are useless. Give her shoes. Wow, easy peasy. <laughs> but no, the zippers are nonsensical. Why does she have knee pads? Why does she have knee pads for all that time real. she spends on her knees? She slips and falls. Uh, she's wearing heels. You're right. <laughs> what if she falls and bonks her poor little kneecap? <laughs> Why is she wearing so much white? Her hair looks Stupid. Her hair looks okay. so dri- drippy. Her hair should have like an entirely separate section. I don't understand. We, okay, let's put her hair on the back burner. Yeah, because, because it's like a we whole We will come thing. back to this in a second. But yeah, her her it just looks it looks bad. 
She does not look good. I could not recolor her to make her look good. <laughs> she looks bad. I've seen one where, like, I think they made, like, her zipper on the jacket gold. And they said they weren't happy with it, but I appreciate the attempt of at least putting some yellow in her outfit. Yes. Yeah, if why she's really dating? Good together. If she's dating Yang, why <laughs> are there not their colors in each other more? I feel like sometimes they restrict their character designs by holding to like their old color palette. Yeah. And I feel like their color palette should be allowed to evolve with the characters. Yes. I think, especially since like she would look beautiful with gold on her yeah, and purple like, like yes oh my gosh yellow those, and purple are yeah, black gold purple you don't together. need white in there at all yeah. and, and and like we incorporate well they tried to incorporate a little bit of purple in yang's design so it's like they clearly have their head on that yeah but i don't understand why they haven't done the reverse for blake um i just i she would look so good with just subtract away from the equation. I wish um, she if had. If you need to give her like like, an a a top or a bottom that isn't black. Like if for whatever reason, as a character designer, you haven't hang up with that specifically. Yeah. Do it. Do it in purple. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's like white and blue. It's like those are at least more complementary to their actual character color than the opposite of yeah. their color. It's like if you were afraid to put ruby in red so you put her in green it's like <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 why did you do that <laughs> so bad <laughs> like, I, like these would look oh, very good but together if she had a little bit of green then that would kind of look like oscar yeah, right? that, would, that would be cute but like just like like an accent though but yes not, not, as, yeah. like, a not like a whole green shirt <laughs> or right. a whole green coat right. it's like Weiss's snow pea outfit looked good with that black trim. Yes. It's not black. I feel like I feel like there's there's a line between where they forget the accent is an accent. Right. Yes. And then and then over over like, they do regularly. Over. Yeah, they do regularly color characters where the co the colors are fighting for dominance yes. a lot. Where they yeah they just need to learn how to how to rein in the accent right. a little bit more. Uh. Favorite Blake outfit, I guess. Oh, uh, <laughs> also about her new outfit, I wish she had a bow again. Not necessarily covering yes. up her ears. Yes. Because, you know, character growth or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but I wish she had a bow in her outfit. Somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> um, favorite, if we're going to go with canon looks, I'm going to go with volume one, um, just because I think it was streamlined. It was classy. Um, her coattails... Uh, just helped show where she, how she was moving, yeah. you know? She looks like a cute cat. She did look like a little cute cat. <laughs> like, with, like, a little white, like, Yeah, like, a spot. tuxedo, yeah. like, like, um, a pattern, yeah. you know, on her fur. Her shoes were cute. They were heeled still, but they weren't fucking stilettos. Mm -hmm. So, it was like, oh, she's, like, nimble. Yeah. <laughs> and not, <laughs> oh, she's... A stripper. I don't. Why is her heels so high now? I don't get it. Uh, but if I'm being honest, my favorite design for Blake is the one Shiro Miwa made for her in the Ruby manga he did. Mm -hmm. um, he made an outfit for all four girls, and quite frankly, they're all better than anything that's happened mm -hmm. since Volume Four. Yeah, that's the, true. <laughs> his designs are better than anything that the Canon team have made post Volume Three. Just my hot take. And I think he did Blake especially well, where she looks like... Yeah, I'll look it up for you. She looks like a, a cool fighting game ninja, but still accurate to the character. Nice. It's very cute. 10 out of 10. Um, Read that manga. <laughs> my opinions are the opposite of you. What? Yeah. We can't Do be you? friends anymore, Do my you? sister. <laughs> <laughs> we can't be family anymore, my friend. <laughs> um... <laughs> okay. Wait, no one talked about... Uh, it's not worth talking about. I what? was gonna say no one talked about volume four. It's, it's, it's so garbage. Yeah. It's really plain. It's... Like, it's just like, and a black tank top, and black boots, and white jacket. And, and quite, that is the whole look. Quite <laughs> frankly, getting rid of that white jacket, she looked amazing. She looked that, so good that for, could, like, one episode. <laughs> that could have been my favorite. Wow, it's a it's a good example of just having simpl simplifying the designs a little bit can do wonders. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> um, there you go. Okay, so I like the newest... Oh, 
Should we talk about this? I, I, it's very cute. Um, she's got these shorts. I, he draws. He likes foreshortening a lot, so I it's like, hard to. There you go. I like the wraps on her arms. Yeah, her top's kind of busy, but then he he keeps the legs really like they're just tights. Mm-hmm. Um, so it draws your eyes to her arms where her weapons are. Uh, it's more complicated than I will go for, but that seems to be his favorite thing on earth is belts and foreshortening. So he's a good artist. <laughs> she looks like she's from Final Fantasy VII, and that's a good thing. That is a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I like current, okay, I guess all no. of my current, <laughs> uh, the current looks uh, are my favorites except for Weiss. <laughs> How can you like her current look? I like, I like the color placement. I feel like it, it's smart, because like the zippers down her legs, well I don't like the fact that they're just... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm just really... I'm blown away. You I'm, looked like you were frozen mid-animation. Like, <laughs> like in Animal Crossing when you do an emote and you can just stay in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, no, I don't like the fact that you're, there's zippers down her legs because that's dumb. That's mega, mega dumb. <laughs> But if it was, I like that it's pointing me in the directions of where her legs are going because her, we're over black backgrounds so often and seeing like the bend of her knee with just that zipper, I feel like really works. And I, I don't, I wish, I, I don't like the white, the white jacket. But I like the rest of it. Okay. Honestly, if I'm honest, I don't like any of Blake's looks. <laughs> you yeah, know, that's but... honestly pretty fair. Yeah. And, and her hair in concept should be cute. I don't understand how... We'll keep it on the back. We'll back keep there. it on the back. back. We'll get back yeah. to that. We'll come I, back. I've got a, a real Hair quick, could be better. <laughs> I've got a, a quick thing to throw in again about Blake. Yeah. I wish her shoes were consistent. Let me explain. And it's not just the fact that suddenly she's really into high heels. Okay, that's... Whatever. I'm upset about that. But moreover, so her original outfit has ankle high shoes. Mm-hmm. And then her volume two outfit has knee high shoes. And then her volume four outfit has thigh highs. And now her current outfit has shoe cat suit. And so <laughs> they've now- consumed her! <laughs> <laughs> no! So, so not, not only are they just shoe cat outfit and volume like nine, and it's just gonna be a shoe. <laughs> it's like the Chell Silverstein poem of like, <laughs> like where he's being eaten by a snake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll fiddle, it's up to my middle. <laughs> oh heck, it's up to my neck. <laughs> um And I and beyond the fact that the shoes are taking over her I, <laughs> It's just they're so not consistent. Like Ruby's <laughs> You gotta give us a sec. We're reeling, man. The shoes are taking over. <laughs> Uh, they've been relatively consistent. Like, oh. like, <laughs> why is that? Like, sh- just hey, regular shoes. <laughs> let me explain myself. Okay. <laughs> so, Ruby, knee high shoes. Then, knee high shoes. And then, knee high shoes. And now she's got thigh highs. Okay. <laughs> um, volume. Uh, Weiss, she had knee high shoes, her boots. And then she had normal shoes because she was just at home, um, which is lame, but I understand it. And now she's got knee high shoes again. Uh, she had thigh highs for volume two. They were the cutest. And so, yeah, they, they keep throwing a single one that's like, suddenly thigh highs. Or Yang's shoes have always been knee high, but now they're shorter. And But Blake's has never been consistent. I've... They're the, the toe shape between being rounded or pointed, not consistent. The heel height, not consistent. The heel type, not consistent. I, why are they so high sometimes? I've... And I just, and I realize I'm unreasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I've never <laughs> thought this much about their shoe consistency. Here's the problem. I like coming up with new outfits for Team Ruby. I like shoes. <laughs> and I like shoes. But it's impossible to do with Blake because her shoes 
I have no no consistency to work with. They're just do whatever the fuck. <laughs> they were chunky sneakers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like fat like, fucking basketball shoes. Bands. <laughs> with like the really thick like tongue. That kind. Yes. Yeah, kids would always just throw off their feet. Yeah, because they didn't school. like lace them right. <laughs> yeah. Um. That's it. Uh, rant over. <laughs> uh, Ooh, my more. stomach hurts from laughing at that fucking shoes eating Blake thing. That's great. <laughs> volume one Blake is my least favorite, and very similar reasons as to why Volume One Ruby is my least favorite. The black, it's just the black. If it wasn't black, I would have liked it better because in their old engine, there's no depth. So her hair and her stupid scarf. That does and her happen stupid sometimes. Stupid thing. It's yeah. all just the same but i like the purple on her legs mm. i think they did really good with that which is why i'm sad what keeping there's it an no accent purple yeah. in her outfits anymore other than really really faded purple no they've got tons of purple here i'll, I'll look up her volume seven outfit for you there's <laughs> I, I thought it was just like the the weiss thing with with her inner coattails of like it's like red in inside i don't remember the purple in her i outfit. don't i don't really which either. is the problem I should remember it. I, should I, I only it. remember it in black and white. I will say, Blake's purple is better incorporated into her design than um, than other accent colors. Because, cause yeah, it is the inside of her coat. Yeah, and then is. she's got purple uh, up here as well. It's hard okay. to see that in is, the art. That is more notable. Like, you see what I'm talking about? Like, how the colors work? I, I just wish it wasn't I get white. It. I get it. <laughs> sure. All right. I can Let's... understand the the preference. <laughs> I wish they put Blake in black, and not. And this isn't about her giant white coat. Her cat suits this purpley blue. Why isn't it black? It's right, the, the fact that even the black in her in her design is a very like soft. Like, like put grayish. her next to Cinder. Right. Cinder has black hair and black outfit. Yeah. Cinder's outfit is altogether too dark. Um, she's. I wish she had red somewhere on Anywhere. her to break up all of that black on her. But that's we'll get to that later. Um if you look if you look at them side by side, Cinder's got black hair, what Blake has gray hair. Cinder's wearing black, what Blake is wearing purple blue. Did and they did they lighten her hair too? Is yeah, it not yeah. as dark? Yeah, it's like a it's a gray. Oh. And, I think it was to make it so like shadows could happen. Right. Yeah. Oh, for which, sure. But yeah, but it's the fact that they didn't do that to Cinder. Yeah. Right. Cinder is just jet black on black on black on black. <laughs> I wish Cinder had accents. Remember when she infiltrated um in volume two with the dance and she had her um super slutty cat suit. Yeah. <laughs> um but she had like the dust in her boots that would light up and I think gloves too. Yeah. When she did semblance bullshit uh-huh. um or something or something <laughs> whatever I, <don't> know. Know. <laughs> I wish she had that in her current outfit as well so then she would light up at yeah. points and that would help break up all of these blacks that she's got on her design i don't understand her outfit because <laughs> it's i i don't know why it's all just black on black on black because it's not like she's doing an espionage thing right she's not being sneaky yeah it's, being sneaky yeah. and even if she was trying to be fucking sneaky you're walking around with a gigantic pirate eye patch on your face that's pretty suspicious yeah looking. people have said <laughs> oh she's like coals now and i'm like why is she burning out she's reinvigorated she's like the main antagonist I wish now. She'd burn out. <laughs> hey, um, hey, i'm gonna talk about blake now so, oh, oh, oh did you not i did not i am so, so sorry oh. if you have anything else to chime in with blake do it now before it's my turn no i we spent so much on the shoe yeah. thing i'm, that so, I got, I'm so, so sorry i thought you had gone over it no i i, I my bad friend. Well, sorry. And, you know it's funny though. I, I don't even really have anything that interesting to say about Blake. Um, I like her volume one design the most, but not by a long shot. So it's like it. There's I. I don't adore the volume one outfit. I just like it the best out of what we've gotten. Yeah. Um. I. I don't really like either of her other two outfits. Um, but I don't hate either of them. Um, her more recent one is, uh, actually, no, I'm going to say I'm a little bit more irritated with her volume four one because 
she started out in that outfit in a very warm climate. Yes. Yeah. That was always very distracting to me. Yeah. Um, I'm the kind of person who if I play, like, if I'm playing a video game and I can change my outfit in the video game and it's like, oh, I'm going to a hot place, I'll put my character in, like, like a... Like a tank top. Yeah. yeah. Or Shorts. something like that. Because watching my character running around in, like, a really hot looking place, like, with a big coat on, I feel hot. Yeah. Um, so, like, yeah. I would feel a lot of, like, sympathetic, like, ah, oh, too warm. Yeah. Watching Blake in this beach setting. <laughs> like, beautiful blue blue water and sunny skies. And she's wearing, like, a heavy-looking coat. And it was so upsetting. <laughs> it looked like, oh, just... Like, you could just and picture then, it. Yes, like, the way it'd be, like, sticky on the inside. Get it oh. off. Take it off. And, and then, then she, she gets to the cold... She gets to the cold place, and then she loses her coat. And she looks good, but, like, now she's cold. And, <laughs> and then that outfit is gone. And so it's like, why? I... Okay, because here's the thing. That coat that she had, um, the moment I saw it, I was like, oh, very Seto Kaiba. Yeah. <laughs> very, very s- woman boss CEO type. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand why you didn't, why, why they didn't do it so that Blake is running home to her, her parents and just have her in the tank top, like, set up. And then once she's like, I'm going to take charge of the White Fang. Mm-hmm. Um, then have her don boss bitch coat. Yeah. And now, now she, it's like there's a reason for her to wear a Seto Kaiba coat as opposed to just giving a character I'm a going big, cause it's a cute. big badass <laughs> coat and, and have her look hot for most of the season. I'm going home to rest, which is why I'm wearing thigh highs. Which and, is why I'm wearing my battle gear. <laughs> I look like a slut. <laughs> she didn't look like a slut. Come I on. didn't like yeah. the coat. Oh, it's true. I'm, I'm exaggerating. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't like the coat because it looked too much like a white fang coat. Because especially because like... Interesting. The, mm. the, the white fang in Menagerie specifically... Their look is, like, a white hood and then, like, a white robe-looking thing with, like, a gray accent on the torso. Oh, sorry. I was thinking of exclusively the Albane Brothers. Me too. I can't picture anything other than that. I'll look them up for you. similar to that, but in white. And I didn't like Blake's white coat because it looks like, like a Pokemon admin version of the like a, like a rocket, oh. like, the, like the white fang or the grunts, and right. she is one of the admins. Maybe that was done intentionally because of her later arc of her taking over the white fang, or like not really. Daddy did it, but, yeah. but, but, but like, but like she gave a speech. I, I um, feel it felt like too. It felt like the wrong direction, and I saw one person comment some. This was like years ago, I think. <laughs> some uh, one com- person commented like maybe she's inspired by winter. And trying to be more like why? why? And I'm like, I feel like that worked better for Weiss, but it w- I like the idea of now that Blake is trying to actually take charge and do something about mm-hmm. the White Fang. If she had a like a menagerie militia look, but menagerie doesn't have a militia, right? So there's no theme we could play with here. Right. Yeah. But that would be cool if we could like incorporate that in somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's tackle Blake's hair finally. This is the rest of the podcast. <laughs> it's, like, it's like four hours long. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand how Kali can have such a similar hairstyle and look so cute, and Blake looks like fucking butt. I don't. Yeah, and like yank. No. <laughs> okay. Ruby. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry. I. I'm okay. Yang would look cute with short hair. I think. Well, probably. But, but I don't expect her to do that. <laughs> so yeah, like, Kali, Nora, Ruby, CL, Penny's old look. Like, they can do cute short hair. Right. What happened? <laughs> well, and, and it's baffling because half of those characters we listed were not main characters. <laughs> I, I am in shock <laughs> that you can have one of your main girls... And it's like, we're going to give her a haircut. And, like, 
did no one look? <laughs> like, did, did none of them see her, like, critically? Did they just look at it and go, that's fine, and hit the print button? Like, I <laughs> that's how that works. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but, like, like, what happened? Was there no one on the crew that was like, baby, let's make it look good? Was for for your video, <laughs> your vi- you just came out with, um, like, discussion about Ruby Girls' outfits in this volume. Yeah. Uh, I see a couple of comments like maybe they just got like the new people to model them. I'm like, why would you get like the fucking intern <laughs> to <laughs> model our main character? Regardless, <laughs> okay, cool. Intern Todd models Blake's hair. Mm-hmm. Cool. The higher up should look at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoever's in charge should be like, should say fix this, change that, right. or it looks good. It's not just a one person kind of. It's a team effort, right. guys. Like. <laughs> Come on. And, and short hair, like, and, and didn't even give her, like, an intricate hairstyle or anything. It was anything. just, like, good-looking just, yeah. hair. <laughs> and cute hair. Everyone who draws it understands, yeah. like, the Amity Arena artwork, and every, the promotional artwork. Everyone knows, oh, this right. is supposed to be cute, actually, right. not bad. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, Helmet. <laughs> let's talk explicitly of, like, why. Like, what of, is it about the model versus the artwork that makes it look awful? It doesn't look styled. It it looks like she didn't wash her hair. Yeah. It's oily <laughs> and greasy. And then she just used a rusty butter knife and then just had, because it's not even, like, straight. It's all, like, jagged around the edge yeah. and everything about her hair that she had before is now mm-hmm. gone because at least before it had that wave to it yeah. and she her like that thing all anime do where the sides of your hair next to your ears is different mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah that would have like another wave to it like that was in front of her face yeah and now it's all gone right it doesn't have any of that right and, and it's not if, uh, so, it's not like I hate straight hair. Right. If she, if she looked like Sailor Saturn, for example, who also has straight hair, mm-hmm. short, uh, it'd look very cute. It's the fact that it seems no effort was put into making right. the hair look good. Right. Like, it, aesthetically. It doesn't look stylishly straight, is yes. what you're saying. Because it is very easy to make a cute, short, straight hairdo. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, it's... It always in the artwork has lovely volume. Um, it's like, <laughs> like curled it's, in. It like curls inward against her cheeks, so it's like face framing. Like poofs out a tail, like a little duck. It's just. <laughs> it's just. I. I'm blown away. Uh, how? Because it's not even how? a situation like. And I saw many people disagree with this, and that's totally fine. But for me, when I saw Jean, and it was just a picture of him, I was like, oh, God. (laughs) Um, But when I saw him in motion, it didn't bother me as much. Um, Like, seeing him as just, like, a still image looked terrible because his hair looked like a bunch of bananas. Um, But, like, once he was moving around and you could see, like, like... It in world and like the perspective on it. Yeah. Um. It didn't look weird to me anymore. It just looked like some spiky hair. Yeah. Would I have preferred it in a ponytail? Yes, but that's a different. We'll, we'll save that for. <laughs> like if we're getting um, pedantic, son's hair is also a bunch of really small bananas. Yeah. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> um, I have seen like a little mini Jean ta- hair tangent. I've seen a lot of people saying they don't like it because it looks similar to Cardin's hair. And I'm like, a hey, no, <laughs> yeah. it's not. It, it's they both go up at the front, but also like, there's so little things you can do with guy hair. It well, when it's insi- short. Yeah, when you insist <laughs> right. on keeping it short, yeah, those are right. exactly. Yeah, that's, that's like the one of two styles. And they already had the other one. If you had <laughs> given him a luxurious ponytail, then. Um, <laughs> then he would have looked fantastic and no one would have complained. Also, let's all be real. Cardin does not fucking matter. No. Right, I forgot <laughs> no, he existed. No one is pulling <laughs> design elements from Cardin. I, no one yes. on the production team gives a shit about Cardin. No one remembers Cardin. Cardin does not matter. He doesn't affect Jean's design <laughs> I don't, at all. I don't think <laughs> Jean remembers Cardin. He's like, he's just, just, he's like, like crying in the night and Ruby's like, what's wrong? Is it... Para? And he's like, no, I was remembering the time Cardin pushed me into a locker. It just really hurt my feelings. <laughs> like, like, I think he's faced more than a schoolyard bully at this point. And it, even if it was like, oh, it looks exactly like Cardin's hair, which I don't really think it does. It does um, Even if it looked exactly like that, I don't think it was like, 
intentional or that it matters in any way. We dramatic. gave Sean anime bully hair. No. That's not a thing. Yeah, he's a bully <laughs> as he's like walking children across the street. Isn't it also anime bully hair? Like when it's like shaggy and covers up one of their eyes? Oh, no, like, that's, that's, that's moody, edgy, cute boy hair. I, I the anime know. bully hair is not a trope. That's, <laughs> that's not in anything. This is not a discussion. You, you, like, like, it doesn't exist. <laughs> like Sundares have the twin pigtails usually. Mm. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's that's a trope. Yeah. This anime bully hair yeah. is not a trope. There's that's, like <laughs> delinquent anime hair, but that showed up more in like 90s manga with the slipped back yeah, look. Yeah, like, um, um, like Kuwabara. You, you see that a lot in Yu Yu Hakusho, yeah. which is fucking great. Hey guys, you know you know what <laughs> you should read? <laughs> you, Let's you talk about anything other than Ruby It's Ruby. so good, you guys! <laughs> Remember how the kid with dots for eyes won the tournament? We can't keep- No! Spoilers! <laughs> it's from the 90s! How could you? <laughs> anyway. Are we done talking about Blake's hair? Uh, Did yeah. we finish that? I don't yeah. know what else I guess. to say. Hair when, looks when, bad. When, make, it, make it fluffier and make it darker. It doesn't even seem like out of reach of their animation engine. No. Right. It like, doesn't- that's the, I think that's the most baffling thing to it. So, Weiss's hair. Looking bad. Um, I'm not surprised it looks bad. You gave her, like, a tree trunk thick, like, super long braid, and that shit is hard to do. Yeah. Like, that, <laughs> like, <laughs> animating that when she's in motion, that must be tricky. Short hair. It's a good thing she the, never moves. <laughs> short hair <laughs> should be the easy one, and that's why it's baffling. Yeah. It's like, how did you, it can't, how did you fumble... So hard. It, uh, you can't. It can't clip through her model at all. Right. That was. It the, can't do any weirdness. I think Blake <laughs> was when we. So when we first saw the concept art and we were like sharing it amongst ourselves, um, Blake was the one I think that we had the least concerns about. Like I yeah, think we I were looking yeah. at the concept art and we were like. Okay, and then that one's gonna look fine. And then we moved on to the other characters where it's like, I don't know if that'll look good. Like, Blake was not the one we were concerned with. I yet. didn't love all the white again, but, right, but in like terms of hair, hair yeah, yeah, I was like, cool, short hair, whatever. <laughs> I wish, th this is another minor thing, her ears look like they're clonked on top of her head, like on top of the hair. I wish they looked like they were... In the hair, like, like there's like more... that the hair like parted around it a bit. More. Yes, because like it doesn't look like her cat ears are connected to her head. <laughs> it looks like they are part of her hair helmet model, <laughs> and I wish they were just like looked like they were in her hair more. That was something I hated about Kali's hair. No one talked about this, and it confused <laughs> me. Her cat ears were a different shade than her human hair. And so it looked like her cat ears were just like a headband she was wearing. I'm googling like, like a like a weeaboo headband that has like the cat like a like a Halloween esque headband. <laughs> <laughs> and I hated it. I'm like, why? Because uh, every other animal has had that animal's hair color be their hair color. Maybe she's starting to salt and pepper, so she like dyed her hair. <laughs> she you can't dye your hair. <laughs> twins? No, I'm twins. How embarrassing. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I also wish the insides of their, like, animal ears were, like, funner. <laughs> Critter, I think you need to get your eyes checked. <laughs> no! No, no that's look the same at color. No, turn the brightness up on your phone! <laughs> it's on, like, pitch black! <laughs> Her hair is black, you're not gonna see it. Turn it up more! It's the same color. Turn it up all the way! <laughs> all the way? All, all the way. All the way? All the way with Callaway. Wow. It's the same hair. No, it's different. It's you the exact same it. color. You can see it. You can see there's like a clear line of like uh, her being slightly grayer. Okay, here. Let me look up another picture of her. Tell me. Tell me. Where, where is it a different color? Okay. I might have been wrong. <laughs> no, it is! Like, totally. Like, that is oh, way no, blacker. Oh, I can see than her. it. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Well, the problem is... It distracted so, me. So, <laughs> to describe to you, the audience, of what we're looking at right now, because this is an audio format. <laughs> um, so, it seems that for Cully, they've done the same thing with Blake that they're doing now, where it's like, they have, a, like, a... a her primary color on her hair is, like, a bit lighter than black. It's not a pitch black. Um, her ears are pitch black. Yeah. But she also does have shading in her hair that is that pitch black. Yes. So because her hair is two-toned, I can see how... You're both right. <laughs> we all can get along. <laughs> um, let's talk about villains, guys. Oh, but... But I want to 
wanted to talk about Jean. You want to talk, we can, oh, yeah. let's, let's tackle Juniper then. Yeah. Let's keep going through the <laughs> millions of heroes. <laughs> what about Jean did you want to His talk? hair! <laughs> Sorry. I just, like, did anyone else have any, like, like, thoughts on it? Because I talked about how I had wished that he had had a ponytail. Um, but... Anyone else, like, want to chime in on that? Uh, not re- I like his pants. Mm-hmm. I like his, like, real boots. I like the fact that he's trying now. <laughs> like, it looks like he went from that, sh- that schmuck in school who wore a hoodie instead right. of, like, anything real. <laughs> mm-hmm. And now he's actually trying, and right. he's figuring it out. It looks like Jean now looks like what everyone else was doing in Volume 1. Yeah. He's, so, he's, this uh, would have been his volume. He's caught up. He's a late if, bloomer. If he yeah. was with everyone else, that would have been his volume one outfit. Yeah. I, yeah. It's just generally positive. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, I also agree with literally everything you've said about his hair, mm-hmm. how it looks better in motion, um, and how I agree. Ponytail, though. <laughs> yeah. And I guess to elaborate on why I'm fixated so strongly on ponytail, because it might sound weird of just me being like, just this. Um, <laughs> so I think that a ponytail would have just been a more natural evolution of Jean's character. I think he desperately needed a change. He's always needed a change. His hair from the start was like in his eyes and it looked limp and like... You had just described it, yeah, always as like limp pasta. Yeah, <laughs> like he just has wet pasta slapped on his head and just <laughs> always was in the way and it didn't frame his face very well. I feel like the most natural evolution of that would be pull it back. Get it out of your eyes, a more mature look, um, but that way it's not radically, drastically different. And that's my only real beef with his new hairdo is that it's so different from what he had. Yes. Because he had the long hair and in, 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 kind of in his face, and then suddenly it's short and it's sticking straight up. So it's like it's like his hair went in two opposite directions. Like yeah. he didn't just get like a haircut. He spiked it. Um, <laughs> so I just feel like Ponytail would have felt more like... Also, he talked about how his sisters would do his hair when mm-hmm. he was younger. I think he mentions that in Volume 4. And then, uh, then a he warrior's could have, A warrior's tail. wolf tail. <laughs> like, we could, he could have that, though. Right, right. <laughs> like, like, yeah, he's, like, good at putting his yeah. hair up. And he had, just, that. he had just spent time with Saffron, right. and maybe that... Like, <laughs> That's I mean, what inspires, like, you're not gonna play with my hair this time, right. sis! <laughs> it could also be a cute um, reference to Pyrrha without being horribly heavy-handed. Yeah. Um, just, like, him kind of growing to fill the shoes that... To, to fill her shoes. Like. Yeah. Yes. I agree. Good job. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> um... Ren and Nora. Ren and Nora. Let's I talk mean, about them together. Mash together. Because that's what the show does. <laughs> um, I need to say something. Yeah. So in my latest video, yeah. I say that Nora looks like a Tales of character. I specifically pull from Tales of Graces. Yeah. Fam, I don't play Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I get it. She looks like a Kingdom Hearts character. You're all right. <laughs> I don't play that, so I didn't think about it. Y'all can stop. She looks like Kyrie to me. Yeah, you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> Salt, you are correct. <laughs> I don't play that franchise. I don't care about Kingdom Hearts. I didn't think about those characters. <laughs> I I don't know how I feel. Half the time I look at Ren and Nora's outfits and I'm like, I think they're good. And the other half the time I'm like, I hate it. I don't know how I... I think this is the most polarizing they've ever looked to me. Because their, their first two outfits were so good. And this one is so bad. Right. Like I think it's a bold, a very bold character design choice to take two characters who look fantastic and make them look like trash. What a what a innovative direction to to go. Let's start with Ren. Let, let's let's talk about Ren. How do you take someone? Ren looked fantastic. We're all Ren sexuals. She looked so good. His hair looked soft and beautiful and silky, and his outfit was, like, like fancier than what it was before, but it didn't look cumbersome or in the way. It looked excellent for moving. He looked so mature but- and so grown up, and then you take him and you mush him into this dumb, like, like retread of his old aesthetic 
but with a cyber arm. And it's his so... hair, his beautiful hair, how dare you? How dare you <laughs> well, have we... his beautiful hair out and about, flown around, and then you stick it in a horrible little braid. But Allison, <laughs> how else is he gonna carry his one knife? <laughs> That he doesn't use. He's used against one Grim once, like, three volumes ago. So he should exclusively use his knife. It's the most effective he's ever been. He should just throw his dumb little airsoft guns away. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I fail to see how that is in any way representative of his horrible, horrible clothes. I've seen people, because I mentioned that in my video. That, right. Yeah, he looks like he's regressing. And yeah. I've seen comments... Um, saying that I think that's the point because he's fighting with Nora and so he is not confident. What? And I'm like that that makes no sense. That his wow, him not that's being a him <laughs> not being able to kiss a girl with confidence has nothing to do with his ability as a as a hunter hunter hunt, I always called him a huntress. <laughs> <Yeah>. Huntsman <laughs> as a huntsman. I've had one person like in my comments being like they're huntsmen and they seemed like really adamant because I kept saying <laughs> hunter. hunter. Yeah. And I'm like it's, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm sorry for his <laughs> relationship with Nora right does not affect right this outfit. <laughs> That's also not a regression. That's development. Yeah. It would be regression if he had been on the rocks with Nora initially. Like, like, oh, their relationship sure is uncomfortable. Then, volume four era, he starts to get better. And then now he's he's back again to, to arguing with her. This is not a regression. This is a new development. <laughs> just, Why? just because it's not a positive change doesn't mean it's... Not a change. <laughs> Why is the hot pink only on his armpit? Why it's yeah. just his armpit? It's like the thing I was saying with Weiss's gloves. Like, I don't ever see Martin Astor. Mm -hmm. I don't look at Ren's hands ever when he fights. No, his... Um, I look at the pink streak in his hair and the pink fucking armpit! His <laughs> his, his cyber arm is really distracting. Mm -hmm. That's... An, but, but guys, how else are you supposed to design a character unless if you cover them in shit? <laughs> if you, you... I've drawn a shirt, but boy... That's not enough. I need to add more. Right. I need to add more, more, more until you can't see the character anymore. Yep. That's how it works. Ren looks bad. Ren is the, <laughs> okay, the asymmetry thing works for Yang. I get it. It doesn't... Like, that is the opposite for Ren. Right. Like, the symmetry would work best because he's... He has... Dual guns! I guess- They're symmetrical! <laughs> I guess it could represent how he's off balanced with his, like, worrying about stuff, and, and he's fighting- <laughs> But it's like, yeah. a, a W for wow, that's yeah. a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's just, get rid of some shit. Why does he have so much shit? And that's the biggest thing, is right. take his hair down again. Why is it in braid? <laughs> I actually think he would look really great if he just cut off his ponytail. <gasps> just, like, I'm furious <laughs> at you. No, 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 like, Short hair, not, not like short, like Jean's hair okay. short, but like just like having a famous Facebook without the tail. Okay, okay, <laughs> that's that's less horrifying. I think I think he could do more with this. I want to see just, everyone just change the hair. I Ren just, and Yang change your I hair. I just <laughs> really, really like his long hair, and I, agree. I feel like it's such a shame that like it's like like a character revealing like whoosh like like the like the sexy librarian character like she takes her hair out of her hair bun and like whips her head back and forth and suddenly you realize that she's beautiful she's been hair. hot the whole time and it's like <gasps> and then she just next scene puts it back in the bun and you're like no i do like the reality <laughs> that the out of the boy and girl pair the boy is the one with really long hair and nora this is the one with really short hair yeah, yeah. i think that's cute yeah <laughs> They, they used to look fantastic. Um, they do. I, 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 so yeah. I do want to say, because I feel a little bit bad about going in this hard on them, because I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that someone who wasn't Ang Lee designed these Correct. characters. You can tell by looking at the concept You art. can tell because they don't have a million belts and things. <laughs> so I just want to make this clear. I, I don't feel any like animosity towards the person who designed these outfits. It just really does not fit my aesthetic preferences. Let's also remember, this is the, uh, the same person who also designed Jean. Right. And Jean's my favorite yeah, design. Yeah, great. So yeah. we all agree. <laughs> like, it's not like they're a worthless character designer. Right. Clearly. Um, however, you don't get a pass on yes. critique just because you tried. Right. Yeah, um, that other character you drew looks good, so we can forgive this one that doesn't look good. Right. Because Ren, out of Juniper, Ren is my least favorite. I don't know, Nora's, uh, you could fix Ren by 
maybe taking some stuff off of his design. Like, just rearranging um, colors. Nora is trash. Nora, you can only fix Nora's outfit by having her roll around in a fire, and then she has to get new clothes. That's <laughs> that's how you fix Nora's current design. It's, I, it's, it's incredibly baffling to me, because it's like, with Ren... Okay, so I really, really don't like Ren's, but I can at least see what happened. I can see the creative process behind it. Yeah. He's always worn that type of clothing, and then they just strapped on, like, this is an Atlas thing. Yeah. yeah. They gave him <laughs> they some- They cyberpunk Yes, <laughs> they gave him some futuristic tech and gave it a pink accent because- because his hair. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I at least cool. like that he's got that pink going on with him. Yeah. I do think it looked better with his gloves last time that yes. faded to pink. I think, a, but I think the pink works better as a subtle. Because pink and green are not, especially his shade of green, is not always gelling with each other. But with Nora, they just changed her entire Everything. aesthetic yeah. to be something completely different. It's kind of like... Like, how Weiss suddenly shifted from, like, like regular modern-esque looking dresses to, like, now, like, fantasy-inspired. Mm -hmm. um, or how Blake went from French-ish ninja with ribbon to cat suit. So, Blake actually <laughs> bothers me less because, because of her lack of consistency. Changing it up isn't suddenly jarring. That's fair. <laughs> it's more jarring to me when you have an established aesthetic for a character. Like, Nora has always looked very cute and, like, punk and modern. And then suddenly, you just completely... Make her Kingdom it. Hearts! Mm -hmm. She's Kingdom Hearts! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, okay, with Nora... I first I apparently wants to incorporate green into her outfit because Ren incorporates pink, and I would like. I think the her two. teals help a lot with that. I think that also black because his hair is black. Yeah, like her black jacket before, which was her best look ever. Yeah, <laughs> but I okay. I would have liked this if what she has currently was just a top, like a jacket, because the top part I think is cute. The like sleeveless thing and then her collar. With this new look, I think is really cute. I mean, it doesn't look particularly warm. Not, not, no, but <laughs> like whatever. Half of them don't. That, uh, clearly, they don't give a shit yeah. about that. <laughs> not wrong. But <laughs> like, if that was just like a jacket and a top, and then it was a because she's always had two pieces. Mm -hmm. Having it just be one like tube mm -hmm. now is like so different style wise. Right. It's also clearly a little bit of a more of an issue for them to animate the, a tube <laughs> like her yeah. dress because sometimes she moves and it, it can't crinkle. It can't move like a realistic dress so sometimes she bends and looks kind of weird because yeah. there's nothing to break up her body and I, similar to Weiss's skirt it just struggles with the animation engine I also don't like the baby blue that's like an underneath color it's like hot mm. pink then baby blue then white and she had that baby blue in her original look it yeah. was in her corset thing her metal corset <laughs> which looked which, <laughs> okay yes but I did like that she had metal on her because Lightning. Yeah. yeah. Um, I wish she had more metal on her. That's like, like, a, like, <laughs> like, like Toph's, like, Space Rock, how she made it like a, like a cool armband thing. Maybe if she had, like, <laughs> chunky metal bracelets. I yes. think she has um, metal on her right now, but I think they're, like, clasped over her gloves or her, uh, her like, socks or something. If she has metal on her now, I don't see it. Yeah, it's certainly not as striking yeah, as it her gets, corset. It gets was. lost in, in her other design elements. Personally, I would have taken the baby blue and made it uh, black. To That's a lot of black. Here, here she is. Oh, it is. There's more black than I remembered. Oh, that, yeah. Mm. Or something, the thing, okay, the thing I really hate about this outfit is that she doesn't have red in it anymore. Yeah. That's, that's I liked no. I liked that because it they were it, not only did they match Ruby now yeah, but, but it, it felt, felt like, like like in honor of Pyrrha. But mm -hmm. and Ren has kept his little red tassely thing right. even though he already has too many colors on him. <laughs> and John kept his red like belt yeah. thing but Nora's just completely gotten rid Nora's of it. like fuck that bitch. And like maybe if the baby blue was like red or at yeah. least have red somewhere. Yeah, there. I agree. I agree that would look better. I um I thought that she looked washed out. She um, is a lot of pastel. Uh, yeah. And and it just... Pastels are cute. Uh, I much prefer... So, like, they also gave Neo a lot of pastels. That looks way better than Nora. Yeah. Um, I... 
Nora does not feel like a pastel gal, in, in, in my opinion. Um, or at the very least, if you're going to have pastel elements, then accent it the way they did last time with that cute black jacket. Yeah, that's yeah. The thing, like, so cute. It looked so good. Like that's why, like Neo, the, the worst. That she looked great. <laughs> yeah, before. so yeah. good. It's the same pain that like like Ren. Mm-hmm. Ren had looked so great. Yeah, yeah. Like if they didn't look as impressive as they did. Um, I think that I would be way less fighty about, <laughs> about their outfit changes. Let's... Do you want to talk about the villains? Let's roll villains! into the villains. <laughs> Where are we starting? I don't like any of their outfits. <laughs> None of Should them. Let's start Should with my s- husband. <laughs> Let's start with Hazel, because he's easy, because he only has the one outfit. Let's we'll start with him. Let's we'll start with Hazel. How about that? I... I don't like it. He's boring. <laughs> it's a yeah. boring. Yeah. I was going to say forgettable because I'm looking him up right now because I can't remember what he wears. Yeah, it's... his coat is really bland and it's amazing because we've been complaining about too complicated, too complicated. Mm-hmm. And now it's, oh, it's just a shirt and coat. The villains are the complete opposite. I don't get it. The heroes have like a million thousand exceptions. Exa- the he heroes. Looks untextured. Like he hasn't popped in all the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he's in the distance. The heroes look like they raided the entire ac- accessory stand in Hot Topic. Yeah. And the villains look like they just found something off the street. <laughs> so, okay. What I say, <laughs> Hazel needs to get a completely new outfit. He needs no coat because we can't animate big Hazel with a coat, clearly, because mm. he had to tear it off awkwardly last <laughs> time. Her. And with, I like the shot of, of Crow. Crow. Yeah. Just being like, the fuck is that? <laughs> um, so ditch the coat, mm-hmm. give him a shirt um, like this one, maybe make it Hazel. <laughs> like the color? Absurd. <laughs> Lunacy. <laughs> what are you gonna what are you gonna suggest next? That Tyrion wear purple? Yes, we'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think Hazel would actually like a sle- like sh- sleeveless. <laughs> a very open no chest. shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's that's basically what yeah. we're thinking. Like just yeah. like, yeah. like oh, just do, a vest. Do like a both this? <laughs> In, in Fire Emblem? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 He's just wearing a coat, yeah. and so it's really easy to just throw Cute. it Oh, off. yeah, give him a vest. There you go. It's the best of both worlds. It's, it's, it's every guy. We've saved it. But, Hazel, um, we've saved you. Um, <laughs> I think his uh, arms should have accessories on them. They're hairy, but that's not really an accessory. Like, give him gloves or something. He already... So he puts the his goo in there. That's fine. That his, his arms become his weapons and that's okay. Uh, so I want his arms to be the primary focus and keep his torso simple with a vest and no shirt. Sounds perfect to me. And maybe give him like a, a, a lopsided shoes. Cause since like, yeah, since we're cause keeping that's, his top so Because that's their favorite thing to do is to make one shoe a thigh high and the other side shorts. <laughs> <laughs> G- give him that. I don't care. Um, really? but, uh, give him some real, real standout shoes. Like Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What I just, a sinner. I just, I just imagined Hazel in some really awful, like, dad sandals. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a slow pan down and then it zooms in on his horrible shoes. And all the kids are like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> just watching over his kids, Mercury and Emerald. <laughs> uh, I don't know where those. <laughs> but yeah. What's wrong with them? <laughs> In per- okay, bouncing, like, being back up. Yeah. I think in a perfect world, okay, the a thing of just stabbing dust into his arm is dumb. It's pretty boring. Let's be honest, I wish he had dumb. more standout <laughs> scarring from that. I think in a perfect world, I would like it if Watts could build him something, like an injection, basically. Where, oh, okay. like, it basically looks like a... Brace like a necklace, not necklace, bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> a necklace, but like on his arm. <laughs> Armless. <laughs> Armless. Like a brace on his arm, basically. Like an arm ring. <laughs> Where and then it, like, and it could look all fancy and whatever the fuck, and he could just like plug in like a dust bullet round thing like what the, i dig that the ship weist was fucking around with when she was on the airship effectively <laughs> um a, a a more painful version of yang's gauntlets yeah and then it would just like you know shoot a needle into him but we don't yeah. have to see that which is implied <laughs> and then it can glow and yeah. then he could actually have like bullets or something it's the, something cooler yeah. than just the, i stabbed myself yeah, the more rock. sophisticated <laughs> look would probably be more threatening yeah than a man 
doing what it looks like what he's doing, which is shoving raw, <laughs> unprocessed, like, steroids into his arm. And, and just, like, like, punching fire. Oh, my, oh my goodness, you don't, you don't even, you, you, you don't, like, grind it up and sort it? Or you just <laughs> it Okay. So, I think, um, I think Hazel has a lot of improvement he could do. Since we've already talked about him, Tyrion should wear purple. Yeah. Absurd. Like I was saying, with... <laughs> With fucking, with Blake looking like a white thing admin, yeah. Tyrion also looks like, like I was very confused when he had no affiliation with the white thing. Cause, like, what, cause he's a faunist? You racist? <laughs> yes, but also, like. <laughs> well, yeah, they're gross. They're animals. He's the animals. <laughs> Bad hair. <laughs> Like, okay, it's, it, it, uh, the White Fang has always been shown to wear white, except for Adam. <laughs> like, the <laughs> yeah. lieutenant on the train, and then all their grunts and whatever. You're not sure. wrong. Yeah. And then he also has that very similar pattern of white with a black accent. I wish he's got- you thinking that they would use color theory to mean anything <laughs> To make something show. thematic on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> what with our um, spring-colored winter maiden. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. I think that was on purpose, like, purposefully, like, like backwards. Th- did a did a swerve. Like yeah. get it? The fire one does cold things. Kind of a similar theme we could go with. Tyrion's got like his arms are wrapped up. Just make that like purple, guys. Why is it that reddish? I really like that's a crazy funny one. Cause like, okay, Hazel, I can see maybe a tiny bit yeah. of like, okay, how are we gonna make this color interesting? <laughs> like, like it's like having a character named Beige, and it's like, <laughs> and it's like oh, why did we name him Beige? <laughs> um, but, but Tyrion, like, purple, the arguably one of the best shades of purple, yeah. <laughs> and you don't incorporate literally any of it in his design, except when he's doing a poison. His eyes, then he gets sometimes. <laughs> a little bit of purple. And it's like, that's so lame. That's like if Yang's color was red. Yeah, I know, right? And it's like, well, sometimes. <laughs> I, uh, I, just, I do I, think of the villains, this is annoying, I do think Tyrion looks the best. I think he's got a, a sleek design. That's fair, um, yeah. It's not too much. Uh, being able to see some of his scars, because his shirt's unbuttoned, is like, Whoa, interest. What's up with those scars on his chest? Yeah. I wish I had purple on it. I'm also constantly distracted about Tyrion because he feels like a, a store brand version of Soft J. Kimbley from Full Metal Alchemist. It really does. You said his full name and I was very confused. That's okay. I'm like, the fuck is that? <laughs> it's my husband, yeah. Kimbley. He, he does look very much like Kimbley. Uh, same color palette, same facial same structure. Like crazy evil. And yeah, but, Kimbley was much more but, refined. Yeah, Kimbley, but in a fan fiction where they don't really know how Kimbley actually works. And so he's crazy. He's crazy. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. I do think also, I think some, I think Tyrion and Hazel actually could really, really have a lot more improvement. Like if they, like why does Cinder need to get her millionth outfit change? Yeah. But these two have so much they could be doing. Fuck Cinder. So <laughs> many outfits for Cinder. She's like the Barbie of the Ruby universe. Isn't it, remember, sorry, this is a bit of a derailment, but remember when Hazel like tricked us into thinking he was gonna be interesting? And then he's like, Roar, I'm Hulk. And it's like, Aww. Aww. <laughs> I thought you were gonna be like complex or no. <laughs> he's like, I'm so mad. And it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> And who? You, Ozpin. Oh, okay. I, uh, <laughs> with Emerald and Mercury, I feel like if we see Hazel again, and I think he's going to be with Emerald and Mercury, and I'm actually expecting the three of them to have different outfits I now. really, really want Emerald and Mercury to get new outfits. I, I really, really do. Emerald already looks really good, Emerald so looks... I'm worried they'll fuck her up, like like how they fucked up Ren and Nora. Emerald <laughs> looks so good, so I'm excited to see how they ruin her. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what they could do to, like, upgrade her outfit. That wouldn't just over design it because that's always their problem they overdo it exactly <laughs> like, but you can't get worse than what mercury already has yeah <laughs> it's, yeah it's like if mercury mercury is like if, don't make fun of me <laughs> i spilled water all over myself guys <laughs> i tried to be really sneaky and subtle about it and it wasn't happening because i spilled like half my glass um 
Okay. Mercury feels like if someone was like doing like a bad faith argument back at like back at us for like saying like, oh, I would prefer like a simplified color palette and mm-hmm. like maybe reduce the absurd amount of accessories. Mercury feels like the clap back that yeah. someone would do of like, you mean this? And it's like, no, because that is literally the most boring thing I've ever seen. I don't like there's a fine line between like maybe don't have 14 belts and like this dude is just wearing clothes that you could pick up at the second hand store. It's and like, that's not a knock against the second hand store. <laughs> it's I think I've literally seen his outfit there. He looks like he's wearing just like pajamas. Like it's, just he's normal like wearing ass. like a running jacket and just pants. And just I, a thing hanging out of his shirt. I don't understand. Because gray and black, those are his two fucking, he has, his name is two different fucking colors. <laughs> Mercury gray and black. Yeah. Mercury black. Those two look great with so many different colors. You could accent him with anything in the world, any fucking thing. Emeralds' eyes color red, throw that on him. Emeralds' tails, throw that on him. Hazel's shade of green. Any color would look great as an accent, and they just put him in gray, 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 black. And here's, <laughs> here's a, I think we've talked about this before, uh, that his eyes are gray. You should not have a character with gray eyes in a world where silver eyes, <laughs> yes. which is code for light gray, are like right. the important ones. You should not have to- it's too late now. Unless they do something down the line where he needs to trick someone into thinking he has silver eyes, they've just fucked him up at yeah, this point. Yeah, they've, uh, <laughs> good job. He also, he needs to change his hair. His hair is worse than Jean's yes. used to be. It's bad. Bad. <laughs> bad boy. <laughs> and, and unlike Jean, I feel like with Mercury, you could safely go in almost any direction except for maybe bald. And you could you could get away with it. Not to say bald ain't beautiful. It's just I would be very surprised would be if a the character in this suddenly shaved their head. Especially because um, I don't think it would look very good. Not on him. Not on him. Um, like in this engine, rather. <laughs> yeah. Like, like. Vine. Vine? Oh, Vine exists. <laughs> It can't look too I bad. I forgot mine existed. Like, the uh, writers! <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, let's be fair. They forgot the rest of the Aesops, too. You're not wrong. <laughs> Except uh, for Mero, because he was the cheapest. <laughs> Mercury would only be tricky in that he's so boring right now. It's like... Like... What do you I, do? I, I have no, in my mind, direction of where to take him. Like, if someone slapped his stuff in front of me and they were like make a new design for this guy. I'd be like, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Because it's like, there's nothing to build from. Short shorts. So shorts. it's like with Weiss, it's like, no. okay, like evolve her like bell shape. For Ruby, it's the reverse. Make her more streamlined and, and not aerodynamic, but like speedier yeah. looking. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what do you do with Mercury? Make his legs bigger? <laughs> it's like better for kicking. Me. I would want them to emphasize his legs more, which is why I just said short yeah. shorts here. Um, I think the thing is, he doesn't want to emphasize his legs more. Like, I don't, he doesn't want you to know he has robot legs. I mean, but he doesn't have a character, so you don't know that. That, yeah, that okay. is his character. He has robot legs. Right, That's his but, entire like, character. but we don't know how he, like, feels about them. Like, he was in a, like, stealth-esque mission when he was hiding his legs. We don't know if he personally is, like, self-conscious about them. That's I feel true. like from, like, a from like a fighting standpoint, I think it would be only beneficial if his combatant didn't know his legs were metal. That's true. If they wanted to really play around with it, do that thing they did with that one character in No More Heroes where his knees are also guns. <laughs> what? Do you remember her? No, she took her leg off and pulled a gun out of her leg. That's what happened. I didn't watch She was show. like a sniper. No More Heroes. You, it was a game. It's a video game. We played it together. Travis, oh, we I'm were sorry. There. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was thinking of My Hero it's Academia. Okay. Uh, <laughs> also think of Panina from Full Metal Alchemist. Yes. With her, with her knee guns. That's the one I'm oh, actually I wanting. I love her. <laughs> she's the cutest in the world. Actually, yeah. Just imitate her design for Mercury. That's just, it. That's yep. what we do. I was <laughs> top and then like poofy, like baggy, like like combat pants. Yeah. Um, the combat pants. I don't think that's a thing. Sure. <laughs> Why not? And then like chunky boots. So you're drawing a lot of attention to her legs. Um, Him. 
<laughs> well, I was talking about panini. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Putting it on to her. <laughs> I was thinking of fighting games. I thought of, like, Chun-Li mm-hmm. and, and how, how they draw your eyes to her weapons. Because yeah. that's important in fighting yeah. games. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> I, I, this is semantics, but hers are more her thighs. Where, You're right. Where <laughs> he's more calf-oriented. Either way, it's the leg. That they could... They, uh, I. Yes. yes, studying things like Panina and other fighting game characters who are kickers mm-hmm. primarily, I think, could benefit them for uh, doing Mercury new. Right. <laughs> All they have to do Mercury. is not put him in a really complicated top. <laughs> That's all you need to do. Just, keep Just don't that, do this keep one. The top thing. half simple, please. <laughs> <laughs> just wait. <laughs> it's gonna be like oh, the opposite of what we're. He's like, gonna be wearing what Yang was wearing last time, <laughs> and he has to take off his coattails to fight. <laughs> um, Watts is fine. I was Watts like, no, exists. I think he's fine. Mm-hmm. I like. I wish he had brighter colors, but I understand why they don't want the villains to look too fun. I like the coat. <laughs> he's fine. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he looks fine. Um, I, I'm kind of glad that the yellow on him is, like, kind of mustardy. Yeah. Um, because it makes look very not Yang yellow. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, uh, and I like that he looks like a mustache-twirling villain from, like, an old movie. Um, that's a good look for him. Quite frankly, uh, the worst part about Watts' design, in my opinion, is that he looks too similar to Jacques. Um, and Jacques, not important. And so my uh, my brain category like Jacques just went to jail. Yeah. He's not part of big evil Salem team, which of the main antagonists. <laughs> so and so my brain like puts him with Jacques as yeah. not important. It doesn't character. help that they just spent all their time. Together. They spent a lot. They are they love kissing each other <laughs> so much. <laughs> on 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 the other side of that, when didn't we read a theory last time in our theory podcast about them being brothers? Oh yes. yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if like they actually were brothers and like that um, could be? Well, yeah, Weiss gets to be connected to the plot again. Yeah. <laughs> and, and um, Jacques just like dyed his hair white so that he could better like fit in with the Schneen line. I I think it just went white. Like, but, yeah, like, but, but my theory. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a headcanon, and I said, I think it goes at the beginning of my comment, which means I, everyone cares about what I have to say. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole point of the podcast. You're right. <laughs> it's all opinions. <laughs> um, Except mine are right, not joking. <laughs> Salem, I liked before we saw her backstory. Because I thought the white skin, scary, grim look to her yeah. meant more than just, oops, I tripped into a grim puddle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I Which wish... makes me think, because there are still those grim puddles, not only, like, at her castle, we've seen her dicking around with those, <coughs> but also, like, when the dragon flew over Beacon, it, like, pooped out grim puddles. Yeah, but- So if someone just tripped into that grim puddle, would they also- No. Look? They died. Okay. They would die. Because yes. she was immortal. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a very boring excuse to have her- her look like that. Yes, and that because it feels like they thought of her whole story about being the princess in the castle and everything, and then immortality, and then they were like, "Oh wait, how does she look like a grim? We need to do something." <laughs> and then, oh, and then the, she walked past the flat background, and then whoops, whoops, whoop, 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 and then fell into a water. <laughs> I feel like it would have worked fine if she was just from a race of people that looked like that. Like, she always looked like that. It wasn't a, mm. whoops, you accidentally fell into the evil. Like, if, like, when the god of light and the god of dark decided that they need to work together to create people, they technically did, but they had their two separate ones. They had Salem's people, and then normal-looking people. Hmm. I feel and like Salem's that might have kind of defeated the point of Maybe. them working together. I just Because the whole thing was, this is our creation together, um, there, I've got a perfect solution. Okay, so the the god of darkness takes his magic back, um, and Thanos snaps the world, and everyone dies, mm-hmm. except for Salem, and then they run away. His thing that should have killed everyone, she's immortal, mm-hmm. that should have turned her into a grim-looking thing, as opposed to just walking into the puddle of ew, because then it's mm-hmm. the god of light cursed her with immortality, the god of death turned her into a monster okay. kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, I can see that. Uh, the grim pool thing doesn't bother me particularly. Um, I don't... It just feels kind of lazy, I guess. Like I, I, <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, 
I do think it's interesting that the way they set it up, we don't have any of the, well, why can't another person do this? Because I feel like so often in Ruby, there are like weird questions and loopholes. Like I've been wondering if you could use one of those weird little bug things um, to suck out Ozpin's magic. Uh, if you were able to suck out yeah. Maiden magic with that shit, like, can you do that yeah. with when's, any magic? When's the evil tick gonna come yeah. back? Yeah, <laughs> like, like, why, why would you set up the idea of magical transfer being through killing and then have your little bug thing too? Yeah. And then never explain the little bug thing. I, and so it's like, what are the rules to this? What are the rules to the Grim Arm? I don't know. But, um, <laughs> but this is the one instance of at least for me, I can't think of a loophole or a way around it. Salem is the only one who could have fallen into that grim puddle and gotten weird grim powers. That's fair. Even Ozpin couldn't have done it because he'd just die and then reincarnate. I think the bigger problem for... Or, yes, you make an excellent point. I think it's more over the, the dialogue that Jin says as she does it. Where going into the Grim Pool doesn't just make her look like a Grim, but she becomes a, a being of infinite life with nothing but a lust for infinite destruction. Her really bad line there. Yeah. How she's like, and now Salem became evil. And it's like, wasn't she already? She and then already she very falls evil. in love after and has some children mm -hmm. and she loves her kids, even though she's evil and craves destruction. <laughs> it's like, so clearly no. <laughs> like, you didn't plan for that yeah. kind of a thing mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, why write that line <laughs> i'm gonna maybe they should have had salem's character try to kill herself um after the whole ozpin thing um or ozma rather like after she like after they accidentally killed their kids um, and mm. then she killed him, maybe at that point have her try to jump off into the Grim Pool and then become oh. Dark dark Salem. That's a great idea. Um, just to... Just move the timeline over? Yeah, because yeah. then you can have all of your sequences of events, but then also you're not trying to justify in your head why, yeah. like, <laughs> why, why this... a being of infinite destruction also craves motherhood. <laughs> the antithesis of destruction. <laughs> uh, I hate life. I'm, I'm... going to have four kids. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> um, we're not talking about her design right now. We're no, not. Like, we got distracted. We're just talking about We're talking Salem. about the grim element of her design. Yeah, it's important. I think I, I have no... Uh, her design has no effect on me. I thought her. she looked cool. She does look creepy. But knowing the backstory of it doesn't... like. I now don't like it as much. Why are her titties like... always out? Yeah. Is it supposed to be a motherly thing? It's not working. I, I think someone on the design team just likes tits. Very possible. Because, <laughs> like, that's a that's a that's an element of motherhood. You know, like, yeah. in Madoka Magica, Mommy mm -hmm. is a character, and she's got bigger boobs. Because, you know, she's a mommy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the that's point. That's the point. That's, that's, and then she dies. Spoiler, I guess. <laughs> Spoiling everything. <laughs> I don't know. Cut it out if you care. Spoiling Yu Yu Hakusho and Madoka Magica. You anyway. didn't even need to bring it up. I it didn't. wasn't even right. I, it, I, it, <laughs> anyway, so I guess that could be what they're going for with her with Salem's constant giant titty windows, because her new outfit has a bigger titty window. Yeah. And so I'm like, is it supposed to be a motherhood thing? Because it's not. It's not panning out. <laughs> I, I, I doesn't does feel that way because so many other girls just have their tits out all the time. Yeah, I'm not wrong. Um, you are. That is correct. <laughs> while we're on Salem, real quick, this isn't really a character design thing, but it is a design element. And I've we've talked about it before. I fucking hate the thumbnails they're doing for their new World of Remnants because it's just like clip art. Of Salem, the first four is like her in various poses, like I'm smirking evilly, and this is the thing about Grimm, I guess. I'm <laughs> smirking in a different direction. This one talks about Aura. Smirkling. <laughs> Smirkling. <laughs> and it's just bad. Don't do that. If you're gonna make a, a fucking thumbnail for something, put effort into it. Don't just take the old thumbnail, make it darker, and then slap Blake and Son over it willy nilly. <laughs> It is a baffling decision, what they're doing. <laughs> but I don't know, man. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna talk about Salem. Do it. Um, <laughs> I think Salem looks really good. 
um, in both her old outfit and her new one, which is barely different from her old one, so it still looks good. It's really similar um, to Weiss's Volume 4 outfit. I noticed. I like. I made note of that, and I was like, huh. Weird. <laughs> I, 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 the, the boobies don't bother me. I think she looks great. Um, I think also the fact that her skirt is very long, and she doesn't show a lot of skin on the bottom, mm-hmm. that, that is a good way of adding an area of interest without adding excessive accessories or anything like that. Um, I think, like, the, the grimy, like, <laughs> texture on her, um, that also adds some nice detailing. Um, and the very stark, like, contrast between her really pale skin and hair versus her very dark clothes. Um, it looks really sleek and intimidating, and she looks cool. And I also like that because her outfits are very form-fitting, um, they pull her upward. And so she looks yes. very tall. Salem yeah. always towers over everyone else, and I think that's a good call. Um, by, by giving her that, like, like almost pointed upwards design and then giving her, like, a hairdo that looks somewhat like a crown, yeah. you add that, like, threatening, menacing villain without making her, like, physically gargantuan. Yeah, yeah. I will say, I have hang-ups, but I agree that I do overall like Salem's design. I don't, I'm not, we don't have a whole lot of time with a new one. Mm-hmm. Maybe... Maybe something about it will bother me. Um, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, I agree with everything you've just said. I wish she had yellow in her outfit somewhere. I don't. I don't. That feels too happy. Um, no, well, she should have red, white, black, and yellow. I just... I wish she had, like, yellow eyes. And it doesn't have to be a yay kind right. of yellow. I, like, I it could be an ugly mustard like Watts. Oh, um, sure. And I, and I would have wanted to be like... A yellow skirt. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want it to be a lot of yellow. I would want her to have... Like how the Grimm have yellow pupils. Yeah, so I wish she had yellow eyes, and then, because she's got, like, the red accents and the red Grimm gooey goo, then there we go. She's got all the important colors in her. Wow. But she doesn't, so... <laughs> um, it, it, if, if the Grimm had an element of yellow in their design... They do. They've got yellow eyes. Do they? I yeah. thought they had red eyes. Their pupils are, like, it's really little. Here, I'll, I'll look one up for pupils. you. Okay. And it kind of fades into the red. It's not a lot of yellow, admittedly. And I do not... wish they had more yellow. <laughs> I don't think the apathy have yellow in their okay. eyes. Because for me, I've always seen the Grimm as just black, white, and red. I've never, ever noticed any elements of yellow in their designs. A really obvious um, element of yellow was when the Nakalavi opens its mouth. It's yellow on the inside. Oh, yeah, that's fair enough. I, I thought that that was just, like, heat. Man. Um, but, but, but fair, fair. Um, yeah, so, so I... Here's a Nevermore. Okay, uh, sure. I, I get you. Yeah. I, I, I like the just black, white, and red on Salem, but I get yes. where you're coming from. Okay. Let's talk about Cinder. <laughs> In her million trillion outfits. I think... 10,000 outfits. I think it is confirmed that she has the most outfits out of any other character. There's no question about it. Absolutely. Like, <laughs> even just, like, even if you include, like, their prom dresses and their school uniforms. Yeah, because she, she has also all got those. those. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if if they had taken one of, like, given one of those, like, time and efforts to Sun. <laughs> like, let him change his clothes. Or, like, button up his shirt. Like, literally anything. He buttoned it when they went to the White Fang rally. Aww. That was his disguise. <laughs> That's cute. To cover up his abs. <laughs> That's adorable. I forgot about that. That's really funny. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, Cinder. Where do we even start? Let's start from the beginning. A Volume... very good place to start. Volume 1, I think, was her best look. Like, uh, hands down. I agree. Um, yeah, it had a fun emphasis on her legs. And that seemed to be the thing. Was like, she's the leg character. She's got sexy legs. Look at her sexy legs and her shoes. That's important. Yes. She had glass slippers. Um, well, also, and also, because heels make your legs look good. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, facts. facts. All the time facts. <laughs> Even with cartoon characters. <laughs> and I liked her long hair. I like her with her short hair, but I like the fact that her long hair faded to, like, a gray at the bottom. And I wish more characters had, like, fady hair 
or would dye their hair. Yeah, like if, used to have that. Like if Blake, I just put like a streak of purple in her hair. I think it would be cute. Ew. And I would want. Uh, <laughs> I think this, it would be cute. Too. That sounds bad to me. <laughs> Here she is, just in case anyone needs to look at her. Oh yeah, I remembered her in a longer dress for some reason. Her concept art originally oh. had a long, a different dress. No, you her. know what I did? I merged her designs oh, from, from this volume to um her volume four stuff yeah like when she had the short hair and like the the Ugh. long dress yeah like i fused those two outfits together um it looks beautiful in my head <laughs> <laughs> let's look up her volume four outfits that one is my least favorite i think you know um, what, this this current one is also really fucking bad <laughs> i want to see it because i think it might be my favorite. I think it's pretty cute. Yeah, I think, yeah, this is my favorite. I At least it. the concept art, I do think it looks worse in show. Well, um, they seem to struggle with her loose sleeve sometimes. Mm. I don't know why they put characters in big, like, leg covering up dresses, because they can't animate it. They're struggling with animating it. In where where did they struggle with it? I thought it looked fine. I feel I don't know. She does like a thing when she's fighting Raven, and her like legs are like bent apart from each other, and it just looks really silly to me. And maybe it doesn't help that it's all one solid color. Mm. Like maybe if it like gradiented. Yeah, like she's got her um, <laughs> her like thigh. Like she's wearing tights. Uh, but that's only one thigh you can see right there. Mm-hmm. So she's got the idea of, but they're, it's all on one side. <laughs> like, I hate how, like, side heavy. That side is so long and then has the big dumb sleeve. I mean, I also get it. <laughs> Gotta hide that grim arm, I guess. I but, get... uh, no, I, I, I feel, I understand why you don't like it. Yeah. Um, I think her, her short hair looks better than her long hair because her long hair wasn't styled to look good over one eye. Like, it's just, slopped over the one eye and the short hair looks it's like it's just cuter it's got a little bit more going on i think i didn't i don't have like pictures at the ready to show off what i mean (laughs) but uh (laughs) it's just styled better i think can we um can we all agree that her absolute worst incarnation was bandage shirt bandage shirt bandage Bandage shirt shirt was dumb bandage shirt (laughs) i hate that one not okay. The banded shirt is stupid. Yes, but the one shoulder pad. She so okay. That's so like glued shirt, to her skin, and then like bandages also like on her waist, like yeah, like she's wearing bandage undies as well. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. like she was like gotta expose my midriff. Don't want bandages on my midriff. That'd be silly. <laughs> and the thing, Awful. it's even in her concept art. Like, the fucking shoulder pad yeah. has no strap attaching it to her shoulder. No, but, but just, conveniently, just, two inches down are two belts just on her just arm, just not ready, doing anything. Ready and waiting to <laughs> hold a, a shoulder pad in need onto her <sighs> arm, but nope, she just has it super glued on. What is these pants? That wasn't grammar at all. <laughs> <laughs> what is pants? They've got, like, built-in knee pads. I. It's like... On one hand, I, I get it. Because she's trying to not look like herself. Like, her, okay, her flashback outfit. That is the look Crow is currently aware of. Right. Which is very similar to her volume one cocktail dress. Sure. So, don't wear, like, you know, the same colors. Sure. It makes sense. But you didn't need to wear something fucking stupid looking. I mean, this is also <laughs> the same world where Sun can button up his shirt and get away hanging right. out in a white. And Blake can just walk in like <laughs> she's wearing her colors like she, no one's like wait isn't that the belladonna kid <laughs> uh, uh, awful awful i think young cinder's look is pretty cute um i like the collar i'm distracted by so she's got short hair um and i'm just distracted by how quickly Again, your phone's brightness <laughs> oh my you're such a pussy it's hard to see <laughs> Um, she's got short hair, and it's just like, how'd she grow it so fast <laughs> to get into school? That's and the thing that, like, really muddies the timeline. They should have just, <laughs> I don't know, maybe kept their hair a little bit more similar to how it currently is. Because Mercury's also got the same hair in the past. But Emeralds is just like, it looks like she could have just been styling it different. Yeah. Or it's grown out, so I don't know. <laughs> um, but, okay, the beetle thing. That you were talking about. Yeah. That's, that started to steal Amber's power. Yeah, yeah, the little bug. That did a thing and I don't get it. What did it do? It put this, like, tattoo thing on 
Cinder's back. Yeah. Did it? Yeah. yeah. And, and her old outfit used to show it off, and now they conveniently cover it all the time. Because I think <laughs> they don't know what that was supposed to be, Uh-oh. and I think they're just trying to retcon it out. Kind of kind of keep it out of sight, out of mind. Do you yeah. think they're trying to retcon out the fact that they had magic sucking bugs to begin with? Yes. Half of the show is retconning out previous volumes. <laughs> and you know what? I'm really, really tired of the show being inconsistent as right. shit. Like... Like, I'm fine with some retcons to make things better. Yeah, that's whatever. I can live with that. But, like, I want some consistency between the characters. I want some consistency (laughs) with the mechanics. Right. I don't have to... I don't want to have to have a whole new breakdown notes out, taking a test to figure out how this world works for the eighth volume in a row. (laughs) And in order to tie it back to the themes of this podcast... Consistency in design, too, would also be appreciated. That would help a lot. Do you think <laughs> that when Ruby silverized um, Cinder, that the the silverized blasted the, the magic sucky bug out of Cinder's <laughs> eye? That's how that happened. <laughs> That's <laughs> how it happened. Wait, wait, wait. How did you... Like, like, what happened to your arm and your eye? Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to look up her... Um, a scar so we can look at because I it just looks like a cut like okay. did she fall over and like well, I, bump her face on a table and go Allie <laughs> I was remembering it being a lot more hardcore than that but I it's thought it looked like I thought it looked like a like kind of like a burn scar yeah. but also I thought the eyeball was gone yeah it, that's how it looked to me did too. she just fall off yeah the, it does look her beacon tower <laughs> from what we see there's her eye is closed yeah and it does kind of look like a burn scar. What happened? Yeah, I don't understand. How did... Because Ruby's silver eyes is only supposed to affect the Grimm. Also, it's Ruby was on the other side <laughs> of Cinder. She was, <laughs> she was <just> over there. <laughs> like Brexit and post-post. Like, <laughs> double post. Um, uh, I, I do think it's also funny that so they had like the magic magic sucking bug okay. and then they functionally replaced it with with her grim arm yeah <laughs> yeah so it's like if they were trying to retcon out the bug uh <laughs> maybe would... maybe don't give her a a, a a siphoning arm to begin with and just have it be for stabbing <laughs> what would the bug do to a normal person just rip out their aura like suck up their semblance? Can I mean I guess you can do that. Mercury's dad, so like <laughs> fucking no. We're we're falling too deep into the mechanics hole and Send we'll never fly out if we don't. I wish so this whole story has is transcending continents. We're cr- crossing the globe in Ruby. Yes. And I wish not only cuz there's no consistency between the characters at all. Like Oh, cool, we've got Kyrie with Nora, yeah. and then just a normal guy with Mercury. Yeah. So, like, okay. Um, but I wish that the different locales had consistency, and they kind of pretend to do sometimes. Like the buildings do, but not the people. Like, people in Mantle are just wearing hoodies and beanies, and so they just look like normal modern kids, and people in Mantle are you wearing- said Mantle again. Fuck. <laughs> What's it called? An it's Atl- gross Atlas. Atlas. Gro- gross Atlas's mantle. Argus. <laughs> no, uh, below. Oh, b- mantle and floaty mantle. It is mantle. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and then Mistral. Mist. Pe- okay, so yeah, mantle people wear the hoodies. That's Mistral. What? Mistral is Leo. Mistral is where Leo hangs out. Oh! <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help! <laughs> Let me start I've never over. I don't know where it was. Sorry. <laughs> Mantle yes. under Atlas has people in hoodies and beanies. Mistral, where Leonardo hangs out, has like people in. Traditional sort of looking clothes, like monk robes. M- monkish robes, but that same style is also at menagerie. Yeah, and so, and, but then, and then it's like, what's going on with Beacon? What's going on there? Beacon's just like regular people. But how how is Beanie's how and not how is that not regular? There's no consistency with location. I wish. There was more consistency with location mm-hmm. beyond the haughty Atlas Elite all wear suits mm-hmm. because that's all they have. Even something as simple as, I'm from the Earth Kingdom, I wear green. I'm from the Water Tribe, I wear blue. Right. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> that 
that could work. <laughs> These passages, it does kind of feel like, you know, like, Aang wanders into fucking, like, Luke Skywalker. Like, what? completely- what? I, I don't know what you just said to like, me. Like, completely different styles. Oh. Visually, they don't look the same. I have- <laughs> I have a great example of- of- of this. Mm, go ahead. It's the comparison between, um, Avatar The Last Airbender, and it's like, very obvious locations of like, this person's from here, this person's from here. And Republic City in Aurora, <laughs> where it's like, did you like that? Too bad. <laughs> it's implied- Welcome to Big Jumble City. It's implied Repu people from Republic City wear gray sometimes. Or purple, I've seen. Kind of. It's not good. It's right. not, it's not. Ma can you tell Mako's the firebender? Because he has a red skirt. Can you tell Bolin is the earthbender? Because he has a green shirt. Does, does the outfit not sell it to you? Their eye colors always will. <laughs> uh. we're, th with our tones, it's like hard to tell what we want. It is. Because <laughs> we're like mocking like like, you can tell where this person is from, but then it's like, I can't tell where this person's from. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I just, uh, for for Ruby, let's yes. stay on topic a little bit. <laughs> just um, <laughs> I, I wish that if we're going to be going to all these different big kingdoms and be going from place to place, I wish these places felt distinct. Yes. Um, which is already hard when you can't even make your core cast distinct. Right. Um, but... Yeah, I wish it was perhaps... The only reason, if you have a character model from Mantle in front of me, just in a white void, and a character model that we saw, like, walking around, um, Volume 2, the only reason I'd be able to tell them apart is because the one from Volume 2, Volume 2 has alien eyes and <laughs> greasy hair. But if they were modeled to look the same and not have right. alien eyes and grease hair... I wouldn't be able to know where they're from right. unless it's well that person's got a tail, right. so they're from Menagerie. Yeah. Right. And even sometimes that's not accurate. Yeah. They could be from Vacuo. Yeah. yeah we um, don't even know. So so it's 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 fine to have like this world where like we have a lot of different design elements that we're pulling from. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I agree that it should be a little bit more clear at a glance of like, where is someone from? The fact that Ren and Pyrrha are both from Mistral. Which I think they kind of forgot. <laughs> yeah, I could be, until, because it was, this is Japan. This is Asian-inspired yeah. Ren land. <laughs> and everyone was like, hey, isn't Pyrrha also from there? And yeah. they, were, they were like, Shh. Argus exists! It's Look at this. Amazing. Look at this Grecian Argus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is like, the one place that's basically just not connected to everywhere else. It doesn't even have to, like, okay, there's a huge disconnect between, like, background people and then the people going to the academies. Like, mm -hmm. the huntsman schools. Because Team Sun, Sun excluded, like, Neptune, Scarlet, and Sage, they're all also from Mistral. You're right. And they look, they don't have that monk They aesthetic. look like a K-pop group. They look completely <laughs> different. And even, like, Team Funky does not look like they could be, they could be from Beacon. That was, like, right. it's yeah. easy to forget that Penny wasn't from Beacon. She's from Atlas. Because yeah. they just, the huntsmen and huntresses just look like whatever they want. Quite right. frankly, <laughs> Team Indigo look more like they're the, the mistral ones with, like, dew's got kind of a, just based on their silhouette shape and, mm -hmm. and shape and whatever. They're from Vacuo. What, yeah. what, where is this consistency? <laughs> I would say Penny is the one who looks the most from Atlas because the only element that they really have for Atlas is the color white and future e yeah um technology am i right yeah <laughs> white because weiss right get it like, um and it's like that's okay like again with the joking tone but that would be fine if that was everywhere like if everywhere had something where it's like i think they might be from blank consistency yeah like yeah. where is maria from Technically, is she from Mexico? Mexico. Just Mexico. Really <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell at a glance, and it makes it feel like there's not different continents, there's just different buildings. There's different flavors depending on what ethnicity a background character is. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, 
with this whole, like, it would be nice if different locations had their own aesthetic. <coughs> the way real, real world places tend to do. Yeah. And not even real world places. That's the way most fantasy worlds work. Is yeah. <laughs> this is the this town. People wear this kind of outfit. Yeah. If you do that kind of thing in a show where characters are traveling through and also change their clothes, you're, you would be making it a lot easier on, your stel on yourself for, like, character design. If instead of every character is, like, their own planet, like, they're just off in their own space and they just dress whatever and then when all of them stand together they look terrible yeah because <laughs> like like that shot at the end of volume seven where they're all standing together in their clown car uh. and all these clashing design elements look so weird together um whereas if you were designing them place by place as opposed to person by person then you could have them reflect each location's individual culture in their own special way. Yeah. And that then way... Then it, it goes from this clown car imagery to, yes. like, seeing the Overwatch characters and being yeah. like, look at the culture we see. Yes, exactly. It would feel like... It would be way more visually impactful, and it would immerse you a lot more in the world. And in the part where Team Ruby was split, once they came back together and their design elements shifted to represent that, that would be a lot more meaningful than... We're just wearing new clothes because we found them. <laughs> it might also help because I, I, I believe it's three character designers. I think they have three. It mm -hmm. might be four, but I think it's three. It, maybe if they had one person to be like design lead. Like, yeah, everyone. So it's not just one person making a million outfits because then, <laughs> right. then we end up with things like Fire Emblem Awakening versus Fire Emblem Fates, where you see a lot of similarities between characters. Yeah. Like, like, that was obviously an outfit that could have also worked for that character. Mm. But, or, like, had they just had a, a consistent, like, theme with their style. Kind yeah. Of, right. You know? Yeah. Right. It was very... Things were looking too samey. Yes. But, so, rather than having just one person do everything, having a team of designers is a good idea, but having a creative lead to, like, be, like... Preferably, that would be Carrie. He's the director. I Car Carrie could do this job. <laughs> I... I also, we don't know how their design process works. That's they true. could already have that. I just think that they need a more solid vision for what they want each place to look like. And the problem is, I think they're doing a lot of retcon work with that. Yeah. Because they they didn't do that from, from go. And now they're doing a lot of backtracking of, whoops, we said this K-pop group was from <laughs> a place that dresses very traditionally. From a place with zero technology, apparently. Right, <laughs> right. Uh, from a place where a smartphone would look out of place. Um, and, like, granted, that could be part of their character of, like, rebelling from tradition, but... We don't know them. We haven't gotten to see that. We is. Um, <laughs> Bring back Team Sun. <laughs> Bring them back with new outfits. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we don't know what their process is like. That's true. Um, I don't like... So they only do this for Atlas, where... You know, I'm from the Water Tribe, so I wear blue. Yeah. I'm from Atlas, I wear white. And I, okay, I don't like it, actually, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. Because it feels okay. like... They're from Atlas, so they have to look like Weiss, feels like the gimmick. Right. And it worked with the when we were just trapped in the tiny Schnee Manor, because mm -hmm. they're all family. Yeah. And rather than have the Shaolongs looking like all strangers to each other, <laughs> and <laughs> having the Schnees I, all look similar right. works. It's certainly better than looking like siblings, like how Kira, Gira and Kali do, but we'll ignore Ugh. that. Um, so the Schnees all wear a lot of white and blue, right. and they look cold, and that's fine, that's cool. And then we've branched out, and Ironwood dresses in primarily white. Yeah. And that was okay, you know, Tin Man, he's got silvers, I wish he had more gray, maybe, <laughs> but... White and blue with an accent of red, like how Weiss used to have. Right. And the Aesops have white and blue with right. an accent of red, yeah. like how Weiss used to have. Yeah. And now Weiss, and I think that's why they made that royal blue so prominent on Weiss, so Weiss didn't look like the Aesops. Right. They fucked themselves. They have. <laughs> I, you know, it's funny, too, because I was about to kind of argue with you on, I don't think literally everyone in Atlas is wearing white, because I was thinking about the party scene, mm. um, where I think most people are wearing, like, colorful gowns um, or suits. Like oh, that party. Suits. Yeah, yeah. Yes, um, where, where Weiss sets the bore on someone. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, <laughs> um, but you're, that's a fair point. All of the important characters, like, mm-hmm. like, um, what's this guy that she fought with at the party? He was an important- Henry Marigold. <laughs> <laughs> Fuckboy McDickhead. He was, <laughs> he was an important- he's Discount not, Neptune. <laughs> he's not coming back. He comes back next <laughs> I mean- <laughs> The first episode. Um, he but, could- May Marigold is his cousin. Sure. Uh, and, <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I like lore. <laughs> the important characters are all wearing white, so that's fair. And then- and everyone in Mantle is wearing like, can you tell we're 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 sad? We're poor. We're wearing beanies, <laughs> and it's like rude. <laughs> I like beanies. <laughs> so, I don't think we ever touched on Cinder's final outfit. Oh, it. Well, I mean, it's I mentioned bad. earlier that it's a lot of black, yeah. and I wish like she's got her like little like torso situation because she's got her cape and her gloves and then her boots. And those are all black. And then she's got, like, a shorts suit thing. She's got shorts and a shirt on, at least. I wish those were red, just to break up all of the black on I her. I really can't tell what the individual pieces of her <coughs> outfit are. Yeah. If you were, like, she's wearing, like, a jumper I, th- I think it might be. <laughs> it, like, like, there is no separation between top and bottom. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be able to argue with you, um, because I can't see. It's, it's just, you're watching with full brightness all the way up, and it's like, it's a shadow. <laughs> There's a shadow. And, all shadows. <laughs> and if she was playing a very assassin-type role, that would work great. But Cinder has, subtle, has never been Cinder's thing. No. Even when she was being sneaky, she had her <laughs> boobies out. Um, which is fine. Keep your boobies out, girl. But, like, but, like... It's, she's not a stealth character. She's bombastic. She wants attention. She yells a lot. Um, I she wish she has says, I am going to kill you when yeah. she's trying to kill you. She <laughs> flies around outside. Like, she's not hiding. I wish um, she didn't have the cape. I that alone. Just, like, yeah. cover the gooey arm with a glove. It's but already I, covered with a glove, isn't it? No. It, I thought for it's sure. It's just... Pitch black is the <laughs> hard. Uh, yeah, it's things. we can't see. <laughs> so. You know, but but yeah, I agree that if you're going to have her wearing all black with no accent colors, okay, fine. <laughs> um, but but we do need to be able to see what's happening at least. Remove one of the extraneous details from her if you're gonna have that kind of thing. Yeah. So we've two very opposite opinions on characters in general. It's either they're very over-designed yeah. <laughs> or they're very under-designed. I was going to say, do we have any examples of like character designs we actually liked? But I already went on about how much I loved Ren and Nora from Volume 4. I think Jean's current um, look. Jean's current look looks great. Yeah. Uh, just to give examples of like... There are things we do yeah, like. It's yeah. not just like everything is bad. Everything um, sucks. <laughs> I think Team Sun are really good. Uh, they they pop. They stand out really good. Um, I like Penny's new look a lot. She's so cute. She a is. sad thing is a lot of the background characters. Like, That's yeah. Talk looked great. Talk looked cool. Sienna mm-hmm. looked cool. She looked so cool. But they're just like one-off characters. Yeah. And I don't know why the background characters get to be the cool-looking ones. <laughs> it's like they're more willing to like take the risk of having a character be boring um, which with means, the side characters, which means they're not over-designing it. But they also, oh, it's a side character, but they do have a speaking role. Gotta make them kind of memorable. Yeah. Can't just have them in a t-shirt. And, and so they do stuff with the side characters, but they don't overthink it. And a yes. complex design can work. Example, Neon. I love Neon. I love yeah. both of her designs. That's, yes. It feels that's, like that's the point with her. Neon is supposed to be... She's like one of those, like... Um, one of those pictures that you see, I think, on, like, primarily on, like, Tumblr, um, with, like, like, the girl with, like, the rainbow hair and then, like, a bunch of stickers on her. Yep. Like, that is her thing. She's <laughs> supposed to be really, like, yeah. too much. I wa- and... She wants you to look at her. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And it works for her. I wish, um, the team Kruby would study different types of fashion, um, like, real life fashion. And pull from that as opposed mm. to pull from... It seems they're mostly, like, I watch anime, I play video games, yeah. and they're pulling from... And that works. That's okay. But I think it would help if they pulled from real-life fashion sometimes. Yes. Just because... 
we as a societies have figured out what looks good <laughs> and if you just steal like yeah. oh harajuku i like that yeah. and then throw that onto a character nice yeah. <laughs> especially since hot take but anime doesn't always design characters super well. Wow. Um, so, so, like, if you are always pulling from anime for your character designs, you're going to have very anime things that a lot of people are, like... What? Will, yeah. like, 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 even if you don't, like, study character design, you'll be like, why are there 14 belts? Why are there so many zippers? Why is there a diagonal zipper on Adam's boob? Um, what is why the, are there... What's he going to put in there? Why is their hair like that? Yeah. <laughs> I think they need to, I think there's, it, it, maybe it's just me, but it feels like whoever's in charge of, like, finalizing it is afraid of telling the artist to go back and change something. Like, maybe telling them, go back, add more, or I take some that. away. I, I feel can... like they just ask them, draw yeah. something, and then they just commit to that. I can see that totally of maybe they just are a very, like, like kind workplace and they don't want to trample on people's feelings. Um, because I, I am shocked that Blake made it through the <laughs> final process with her hair looking the way it did. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it does kind of feel like, and I know at the very least, it doesn't feel like they have, um, good perspective on it. Like, like the ability to recognize when something is not looking great. And I've either listened to or read an interview with Jeff Williams, who does the majority of the soundtrack work. Mm -hmm. Um, and he's mentioned before that when Monty was alive, Monty would work really closely with him. Mm -hmm. And he jived with Monty a lot um, on how they worked. And Monty would direct him thoroughly on what he wanted out right. of the music. A very and, clear vision. And quite frankly, I think Volume 1 soundtrack is the best. Specifically, the four trailer tracks yeah. are yes. they're really identifiable and unique, but yes. connected. Like, it's really good. Yeah. And Jeff has mentioned that... Miles and Carrie don't work like that. They kind right. of just tell him some things they want, uh, so, and and that and then it's up to him to make a song. Right. And I think he struggles with that lack of direction. He's mentioned he's not a composer. Right. He's a guitarist. And I like some of the songs he's done. Bumblebee is great. I love Bumblebee. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's beside the point. Right. But I think a similar thing might be happening in the art department, yes. where yes. Miles and Carrie tell the artists... We need this thing. Right. It's up to you to do everything else. Right. And I think maybe a, a heavier hand from the directors to help keep some consistency yeah. within, because they have at least three art direct, like artists. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that's three completely different people working together. And without the director keeping everyone in a circle, working right. on the same thing, keeping it consistent, that's how we get this wide pool yeah. of no, no, nothing jiving. <laughs> and that's not, like, shitting on Miles and Carrie as directors. No. Like, they're, I think I, they just need to be more aggressive. Right, because, like, I can see how that, their approach might seem appealing, like, to an artist on an individual level. I think it must be nice to work with people who, like, you do something and they're, like, great. Yeah. Um, not to say that they don't add, add any, like, critical feedback, but that they don't hamper you with, like, you have to do this and this and this. Like, that must be a nice way to, like, get your creativity out there. Yeah. But for a show where, like, the cast does look so, like, horribly uncohesive. <laughs> yes. Like, I feel like maybe a tighter grip on the reins might be a good call. And if Miles and Carrie can't do that, that's totally fine. Their their jobs are to be writers and directors. And directing a scene, like how a scene will play out animation-wise, is way different from directing an, a piece of artwork. Right. Yeah. But <laughs> if that's the case, then they need to... I think they should hire... Like a specific art director, then right, or and head of head of quote unquote costume I design. Think, I think they have a head of art direction now. Okay, Erin Erin Wynn. I think that's her name. I it's, don't know. <laughs> it's one of the artists for Volume Seven. I think the one that made Ren, Nora, and Jean. Okay, I, I'm not sure though. It's hard to figure out who's drawn what. The wiki doesn't help me. <laughs> well, sometimes they say and sometimes they don't. Yeah. Uh, but I think they do have, like, an art director now. I don't know if they did before, but like, yeah. people have mentioned it to me. Like, there's an art director. So hopefully things will be more cohesive. I think you right. I also would want them to, like, the artist to draw a thing and then get feedback not only from the art director and then Miles and Carrie, 
but also for like story reasons, but then also a lead like 3D modeler. Because if like yes, yeah, because it's like so it's like oh, you drew Blake's hair like this, and right. it looks really that's gonna be really hard really to, cute, but yeah. we can't do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the thing with um that I'll always remember about Monty and Nora's bow. Yeah, about how Nora was originally designed to have a huge cute bow. Um, on, on like the back of her dress, and it looked adorable in the concept art, but it would have been very hard to animate her with it, and so he cut that from her design. Yeah, maybe having yeah that interaction, that third party of of because especially being like this is reasonable, you might want to take this part off. <laughs> yeah, it's especially like Yang's volume four outfit, the fact that she had to take right. off her coattails, and, and everyone clothes. saw. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's really clear. Like Einley drew a really pretty picture, but it wasn't working with what they needed her to be like, doing. Yeah, really. uh, that's another thing. This might be a hot take. I think for volume ten, when they get new outfits, I don't think Einley should design Team Ruby. I think it's fine if she draws them. Like, because her art has always like been... Yeah, the like the promo she, art. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the poster child of the artwork. But then she shouldn't come up with the outfits. She, I, I loved her design for Bran and Nora for Volume 4. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know what it is about Team Ruby that just doesn't gel with... Like, I love her artwork. She's an amazing artist. I love her art. Yeah. She's, Beautiful art. She's so talented. Her shading is immaculate. It is. She has made thighs look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, I don't know, maybe it's something about Team Ruby. I, maybe it's the lack of direction. Maybe, I don't know. She just tends to either be stuck on questionable decisions, like Blake has to have a giant white Kaiba coat, or... We'll get stuck on, well, it needs to look more interesting, so let's add more belts or zippers. Yeah. I feel like she doesn't think it like that when it comes to less important characters like Team Juniper. Mm -hmm. Or maybe she's just freer to do what she wants. I don't know how the process works. But I think her best designs have been not Team Ruby. Right. And so I think next time, keep her on Juniper and then have someone else do Team Ruby. That could also make it a lot more refreshing um, yes. visually. Yeah. Uh, although maybe, like, don't, just, just cause it's like, oh, maybe bringing a new artist, don't go, like, crazy. <laughs> don't have it be, like, and suddenly they, they're, like, they look like they're from a different show. They look like they're from Kill the Kill. They have, like, their, their <laughs> underboobs no. are just out. Their asses are everywhere. Uh, and it's like, whoa! <laughs> like, 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 um, <laughs> what's his name? Shiro. Shiro. I think Miwa? Shiro Miwa would be great. Yeah. <laughs> like, the, just, like, because he was able to play with their designs and yeah. gave them new outfits, and s- that was fun. Yeah. Yes. Everyone likes those looks. Seeing what someone else could do, I think, would be a lot of fun. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, this was a very fun podcast. It was great! <laughs> Holy shit! It's been, it's been so long. It's been, like, three hours. It's been a very long time. <laughs> I'm so excited to listen to this again while I draw something. <laughs> <laughs> I, and we could totally do a second... Co- like, if if you're upset that we didn't spend more time talking about, like, Adam, or the Albane brothers, yeah. or whoever... Yo, let's talk about <laughs> everyone from the tournament. Let's talk about some bronze knees. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude, dude, my, my man, my boy bronze knee. <laughs> If we didn't bring up a character you wanted us to, I'm sorry, but we could totally do another character design podcast. Absolutely. There is enough characters for that. (laughs) Um, It would be very easy if you just left comments about, like, who you would like us to talk about if we were to do another one of these. Mm -hmm. Then we'll absolutely do that, fam. And, And just in the comments in general, tell me everything you think like do you agree yeah. or disagree we had very different opinions yeah i think a lot of people are going to disagree with me <laughs> well, I mean, and that's that's totally fine art is art is maybe the most subjective medium yeah and you have. have the you have the worst opinions <laughs> <laughs> so yeah totally in the comments leave your thoughts and opinions and everything uh, on screen, I have my $10 patrons. I don't know who they're going to be. at the, I don't know when I'm uploading this. So I don't know who, if I'm going to get, like, more $10 like patrons. Like, which month it's going to be. I don't want to say, uh, like, their names and then end up missing someone. Because I'm, like, another person. How about you, you do, like, a crappy voiceover of, like, <laughs> and this person. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> completely different. Yeah. I cut that in now. Cool Duck. Andrew. 
James Dodds. <laughs> so, it's just silence because she didn't. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I also I have a Patreon. Go ahead and check me out. I have lots of fun stuff. Twins also has a Patreon. Check her out. It's great. Lots of fun stuff. Allison, I love her content. <laughs> <laughs> Go follow her on YouTube. She doesn't yeah. upload frequently, no. but it's really fun. Yeah. She's yeah. also the only one who, like, openly uh, has her art available, yeah. like, to the public yeah. to, for, to see. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can check out my Deviant art. That would probably be way more productive than looking at my YouTube channel, because <laughs> there's, like, two things on that. Yeah, except but, you um, have to scour your way through... Dirty Eclipse. DeviantArt has ruined itself. We can't <laughs> just do real art. I'm just <laughs> DeviantArt. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Check out my DeviantArt. I technically have a Patreon, but it's not active. Don't go there. <laughs> you do? Well, yeah, you do? You see, you get, there's like a thing where it's like like you could make a Patreon and still get like the OG like like benefits from it. I do remember it. that, So yeah. I have a page. I'm sitting on the name Allison Are You. No one can take it. It's mine. Um, but there's like nothing on there and I don't have anything set up, so... Uh, um, Why do yeah. you get hundreds of people just throw they money? They can't. At you. I don't have like oh, uh, like, like anything set up. Yeah, there's no tears or anything. <laughs> um, so yeah, check out my art and check out their channels. You're already looking at critters. Check, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> check out everything. I hope you had fun because I sure did. And we'll we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye. Adios.